All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with another Monday crazy shite stream. We have some insane, funny, silly stuff for all of you today, so let's get into the guests and see what's going on. Hey, Widows, how you doing? What's up, my brother? Folks! Folks! How we doing? I am doing amazing. Glad to have everybody here. So let's see who else is on our panel. Hi, Vila. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks, sweetie. How are you? Good? I am doing a lot better now that we are streaming. So, yes. <laughs> All right. How are you doing, Sydney? Good. How are you? I am wonderful now that we are having fun and we have Good. a lot of crazy stuff to go over. Yay! And the Pearl, I think, said that they will be back in a second, so um, let's do that until they oh. let us know. Uh, Mango, I know. How are you doing? I'm doing alright today. How are y'all? I'm doing wonderful. Alright. So, let's see. Um... David E. Taylor, have you ever been on any of our streams before? They're asking to join the panel. Oh, I know David. They're a friend of, um, uh, ah. If somebody Afri has a... The African humanist? Okay, if somebody has a link for David in the Dissim Accords, then go ahead and send that that way. Um, and sure, we'll have you on. Um... I'm sure you can't be any ruder than us. Just uh, please don't porn bomb us, and then we'll be all good. So, oh, yeah, no, what? no. They, uh, they debunk <laughs> cults and shit. Okay, I fingered. I fingered. I, I knew the name sounded familiar. I think that they've definitely been in our side oh. chat before <laughs> and around. So, um, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and say hello to the side panel while we're waiting for maybe one or two more people to join us. So everybody say hello to Mark Caesar. What's up? Of course, David Ta E. Taylor, Full Frontal Exposure, and of course, Cad Monkey. So, uh, is Cad Monkey Gavin with a new name, or am yes. I thinking of somebody? Yes, else? Gavin. So, That's Gavin, you're, Gavin you're a good kitty. You're a good kitty. You're a good cat. boy. And you're a boy. So then, the brainless says they will jump on later uh, after the call. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yes. That kind of call. And <laughs> no, 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 wink, wink, say no more. Say no more, say no more. All right. And then we have, of course, our panel is already in the side chat in here. And then Mark Short. Oh, and we have the Chris Durham. So let's say hi to both of them. And then yeah. the, the micro just showed up as well. So hello, micro. Um, if there's anybody in the side chat who would like a link, just let me know and I'll send you one. I mean, I'll probably just send you one anyways, Micro, if, if unless you tell me not to. Uh, everybody say hello to Dog Walker. Hi, Dog Walker. Word. And, and then Micro says, no porn, so what have we been doing wrong on the other streams, exactly? Uh, uh, porn, porn bombing is a little bit different than us talking about pornography or porn stuff, but yes. Uh, um, Dave, where can I find you to send you the link? Um, yeah, if you're our, one of our friends on uh, Dissim Accords, David, go ahead and let us know, and we What's will send you a link. Instagram. Instagrams. Somewhere. I can or try and find you and send you it. Just give me a vague idea. Yeah, exactly. If you have a link to like uh, either your Discord or your Instagrams, then you can go ahead and that link. How about a, a patty? Yeah, I'd love a patty. So a link sausage a patty. Okay, that yeah, definitely. And um But is that's what I gathered. I and yes, um I won't stand up yet. Oh uh -oh. Well, not wearing pants. I got yes. all warmed up and everything, god damn it. <laughs> it it'll happen later, don't worry. It you let her on you <laughs> let her on. How dare you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So, um, I sent Micro a link so if you would like to join us. Um, unless somebody else wants to put my Discord link in the side chat. Yeah, I can do that. Um, then, um, uh, we can go either way. It doesn't matter. We go both ways on this stream. 
And then Mike Kerr says uh, www.slimstastefulnudes.com. So go, go there and go see my tasteful nudes. <laughs> I don't know how that would ever happen, but okay. So there's my Dissim Accords. Go ahead and add me, and then um, we'll send you a link there, uh, David. Okay, and how tasteful. Um, you'll have to go there and find out. <laughs> Look, Mick, I've seen them. They are the most tasteful. I think so velvet, tasteful. drapes, and throw cushions, and like nice mood lighting. It looks like a Victorian brothel. So tasteful. <laughs> and then um, somebody put in, uh, they, they tried it, the link doesn't work. Yes, that's how this what? works. It's invalid. I'm going to have to buy that, huh? I bet you I can buy it for like five bucks or something like that. Maybe um, less. They probably, probably just give it to you. Pro probably, especially if I got like .us or dot, dot something weird, you know? Probably <laughs> C-U-M is probably nothing. Dot C-U-M is probably... <laughs> They're like, here, take it. Get away from me, weirdo. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're going to do, since we are waiting for um, a couple people, and I would like the whole panel, I'd like all of us uh, inside of me, I mean in the stream, um, when we go over the actual content I want to go over. Um, so let's first go ahead and do what we normally do, and we'll see what national holidays today's is. Is the um, music okay and the right audio for everybody out there and in the panel? If that doesn't work, yeah. try okay. here. Did that not work? Okay, cool. We'll Cash get it figured out. Day? Oh, Powell's back today. Oh, no, wait, no, never mind. They're already there. Ignore me. Brain's in and... the dumb. Okay, and uh, remember, uh, there's three people here that can also take that care of that. So if that happens and I'm distracted, please l let him enter us. Same with if anybody else shows okay. up. You have the power, Vila. Ooh. The power of Yay. Grayskull! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so let's now that I made a fool of myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> um, so uh, today, the first one it says is Kashmir Pulaski Day. Does anybody know what that observed day is? I, is that because um, I know that since uh, there's a statue of that in Savannah, but yeah. I don't know if that's the same one, though. So. Okay, so it says Kashmir Polanski, let me just highlight all this, uh, was a military leader and a cavalryman um, from Poland who was exiled to Paris, France after trying to oust the Polish king Slavon Stanislaw II. I know I butchered the crap out of that, sorry. The ruler who was seen as a puppet of Russia. While in Paris, something rec Franklin recruited him to come to America. Revolutionary War. Okay, so it's about that gentleman who came over here and fought for us and then was exiled. A Polish immigrant uh, arriving in Chicago in 1816. 60s. Okay, so it's about uh, this gentleman who's on the horse that they're showing in, in this photo. Um, fun facts about Names Day. Okay, so I guess people have fun facts about their names or something? I don't know. Um, my name, Landon, means Lord of the Hill. So I don't know if that's fun, but it's kind of silly that my name means Lord of the Hill. Well, it does have Lord in it. It does, of course. <laughs> um, National Be Heard Day. So I guess we're kind of doing that. We're letting our voices be heard. Um, let's just see whose voices they're speaking about. With big companies dominating the advertising market, small businesses find it hard to be heard. So this is National Herdy for smaller 
companies to be engaged in making sure they're seen or heard um, through effective mm-hmm. marketing strategies. I mean, there's something like that I know about, but it is like small business day. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That We do have something else, like that. We have like a small business week or small um, corporation yeah. day or something. And then uh, there's a couple other things that are like that. So that's, that's good that to exists. know. Yeah. Um, so National Serial Day is the next one. And I'm sure we've all heard this, and I'm sure it is nothing new for anybody. But does anybody know why cornflakes were originally uh, created? Oh, yes, I do. Uh, Would you like part to... of Dr. Kellogg's regiment of people when they were institutionalized for chronic masturbation. He believed that circumcision and a daily regiment of his bowl of special Kellogg's cake cornflakes would rid you of the sexual impulses. With men, they were circumcised. With women, they had clitoral castration with carbolic acid rubbed onto their clitoris. And then, uh, generation after generation in America, circumcision became more and more normal or naturalized as a means of purity culture, stopping masturbation, because the removal of a foreskin is meant to make it less sensitive, which it does, actually. There's a reason why there's low circumcision in America and such an need for Viagra. But yeah, yes. it was by a uh, crazy man that liked to mutilate people's peepees. Yes. Um, so David, go ahead and put your Discord in the side chat and somebody will contact you um, in the next uh, day or two and we will um, take care of the problem. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> message us the, your Discord and we'll, we'll, we'll get you a link. Sorry. Um, Discord is uh, whack sometimes. Uh, their links seem to be weird. They, like, go um, out of... Uh, they end or whatever it's called. I don't know the right term off the top of my head, but they they, they expire. Yeah, there you go. Um, weirdly, um, let's see. Uh, there we go. Um, everybody say hello to Irish. Hey Irish. Hi uh, Irish. Um, and Pearl, you could have you can let yourself in as well. I believe you know we're all we should all be logged in. So um, yeah. Hello. Oh. I was just waiting patiently so I didn't just yeah. jump in. Yeah, no, 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 you're fine. Um, but that's why, that's another reason why we did this uh, all together. But um, shh, um, is so that, you know, we can all help control with each other. You know, I don't always have to be the Dom, okay? Sometimes I like letting you guys take control. <laughs> but we'll talk Gosh. about that later, right? We'll talk, yeah, we'll talk <laughs> about that later. Uh, I'm on page two of the list now. Well, we'll, ha- we'll have to go over that very soon. We will just do a a um talk about it later stream is what i'll call it um i just need to make a background and i need to make a logo but we will start doing a talk about it later stream (laughs) (laughs) and ever since um absolutely nobody winks yes nobody nobody does that at all that's exactly why he made the um oh if you wanted us to meet you in a different way or, or i said meet you if you want us to come meet you, no. Oh, if you fuck. want us to co- contact you in a different way, just let us know. We don't have to do it through yeah, Discord. I can it can get be you through on other... Twitter, Instagram. Uh, yeah, Facebook. we're all on the different social medias, so just let us know which way you would like to get a link. Mm-hmm. Even the Gmails, we can email you a link. I can we, there's, email. there's so many options, just like the fetish world. <laughs> 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 yes, Hans Wormet is fake. You, I think he just liked to make me laugh or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, that's my whole goal is to make the whole panel laugh. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, I try my hardest to make it so that we get as many laughs as possible. Well, I try it's definitely my working. I try my hard honest to um, make that happen. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> hey man, don't point Hans that thing at me. <laughs> <laughs> It likes you. Sorry. <laughs> you shoot your eye out, kid. You'll shoot your eye out. So this oh next God. one, I think I know what it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, it, let me read it and then... Okay, okay, yes. So it's National Crown Roast of Pork Day. So I've had pork 
prepared um, like popsicles or like these little eat things, but I don't know if I've ever had it in the crown roast. Uh, uh, Hannah made that one. Option, I guess. Uh, I guess they are like pork lollipops. It's just it's served all in one main dish to make it yeah. look like a crown of bones. Yeah, yeah. So mm. I've never had it Very displayed cold. like this. 80s. Very yeah, Hannah 80s. made one like that before. 80s cooking. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. All right, David, I shall do that. And then the next one is Plant Power Day. So make sure that you uh, mm, hook your plants up to electricity and power <laughs> them. Right? Is that what you a power plant? Find, yeah, the power amazing plant. Fla- <laughs> no, find the amazing I'm... leaves from South America that give you a bit of pep in your step. <laughs> there you go, the cocoa leaves. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right, I ran so an ex- that... I ran an extension cord out to a tree a while ago. So, ah, excellent, yeah. excellent. So, um, before we get into and yes, a spit roast day exactly. Um, before we get mm-hmm. into um, more of the insanity or what we came here, I did a video, like uh, probably about a year ago, around this time, about a gentleman who was cutting holes in trees and was taking copper wire and putting them in there and then putting these epoxy made uh, pyramids, connecting them together, saying that they were drawing power from the tree and uh, like all this (laughs) funny woo. And he was selling these little plastic uh, uh, pyramids that he like just shoves he has obviously a pyramid mold and he just like has the clear epoxy and he shoves like beads of different substances like lead uh different types of metal um different types of like stone and stuff and he casts it in there and he sells them for 80 dollars a piece what do you have oh, lord yeah yeah exactly dude imagine like let's just sell a couple of those folks a month i mean you know what i'm saying like um, but it's really funny. Uh, hey, Lucifer. It was, it's really funny how his backyard is full of these things, and he, like, m- dug these, like, um, inverted uh, pyramid pits in the, in the dirt in the, in the back and saying that they were capturing the negative energy inside these things. And, and then it's like, oh, I, I might have to, like, go over, find that video again and go over and um, see about that because it was insane uh thank you david that does yes, sound everybody... like a lot of woo oh it was complete bollocks i mean um because <clears throat> when you're using certain metals with certain plastics you're actually negating their uh electrostaticness or whatever you know what i'm saying like you're negating stuff yeah. because it's anti that so you're just like not <laughs> I'm pretty sure that resin is an insulator anyway yeah 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 uh, yeah and it's especially the type he was using I don't remember what type he was saying but like uh oh the boss is here Pip's here everybody behave no. so yeah it was hilarious that that gentleman was saying all these things and claiming there was energy fields coming off of these things and good times Right, uh, right. David, I've just sent that link to your email for you, darling. Awesome, sweet. So, um, let's go ahead and get to the first video. And then we may take a break and do something in between. and We'll finger it out. So, um, we have the Flat Earth Panic. So, this gentleman is panicking about the Flat Earth for some reason. So, uh, let's just watch... I'm going to turn the music off because there is a little bit of music in this. Um, everybody we will um, everybody go to Everett Anderson's channel, who does a wonderful job at clipping out all these flat earthers. And will somebody um, let... Hold on. There you go. Hi, David. No, oh, that is new, is it? You are muted. Hit the microphone button with the thingy mabobber and then... Uh Uh-huh. You're still muted. You have to unmute yourself. 
There we go. There we go. Hey, I'm on a call, guys. I'm listening. Oh, now. sorry. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. So, yeah, okay, 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 sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to do that for a second. As soon as uh, they uh, put in the private chat that they're going to be back, then we will... Okay, I see now. Sorry, sorry about that, brother. <laughs> I was not paying attention. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's get to this, and we will watch why we should be panicking about the Flat Earth, or Flat Earth World Panic is what we're going over. He immediately looks like like he's hung over. Oh, I'm sure he's probably definitely hung up. But you know why everything is going up so high? Tell me. Because the system is going to collapse from a whole different point of view or something that we never experienced before. Okay? And the reason is, and you probably think I'm crazy. It's too late for that. Yeah, we know you're crazy. I mean, because people seriously. have pointed it out. Everything that they've been told is a lie. Is a lie. And the flat earth is... What is so crazy is he's sitting at a table with his family. And listen to how many people are agreeing with the bullets. He's, like, sputtering. The only I mean, thing... I think I may have just realized a bit of a uh, bigoted side of me. Because hearing the accent... It is not out of place in my mind whatsoever that they're going to say some <laughs> stupid as fuck stuff. Um, may I ask? The accent we hear in England and think when okay. we think stupid American, like jet, really the like Bronx, New Jersey, New York kind of thing is when we hear when we think of dumb American, it's either that or redneck that we hear in our mind. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Definitely. Uh, so, uh, yes, that's what we're going to hear for sure. I'm so sorry. You have the nail on that head. You can say that again. There's nothing else. Not even more. Because flat earth, because flat earth well, like I said, it'll, it'll change. It'll, everything we taught is a lie. So now they got to, what are they going to do now? Now they're panicking. Would you say it's time for everyone to panic? Yes, I would, Ken. That's why they. That's going to make them believe it. What? That's the thing that's going to make them know that it was a lie from the beginning of time. Who's that? The people that think that 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 the Earth is round. What about it? That when they find out the Earth is flat. Okay, when they when we find out the Earth is flat, then um, I think uh, we'll just all try to jump off the edge, right? Okay, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the day they prove the earth is flat is the day that I suddenly just uh, become the owner of Microsoft and the richest, one of the richest men in the world. Yeah, exactly. Um, there is a content creator who um, she uh, found uh, the flat earth model or somebody who supposedly came up with the flat earth model, but I found it too um, uh, late. I found it just a couple minutes ago, and um, I, I couldn't find out who it was to look at it. So hopefully next week we'll be going over, but cross his fingers, a flat earth model. I want to go over one, so. There's a flat earth model. Yeah, there, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there we go. There, there's a flat earth model. Slimy Borg. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I get, I get, yeah, yes. That's why it didn't work. I'm not, I'm slimy, but that's not, that's not uh, what I go by. I'm slimy Borg. <laughs> nice. Uh, f full frontal, if you are ready to come in, you just let us know in the private chat and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll slide you in our DMs. Okay, I think he, he will, he's still on the call. All right, so let's keep going. That that's gonna make them believe that everything I heard was a lie. Everything we've been taught has been a lie. Yeah, well, the dinosaurs, good, the space station. Whatever, dude. Whatever. But you'll see. That's why. Because can you imagine not understanding like critical thinking enough to think that they lied to us about the dinosaurs? 
it's, I mean, it's painful. Christians do it enough, so Ooh. it's not beyond me to think of that. It's things like flat earth, because, and I, I knew that there were people that thought Australia wasn't real, right? But it was only watching Miss Parker's stream the other day. Well, I found out why, and that's because on the flat earth model, Australia doesn't fit anywhere. So they just say Australia doesn't exist instead of think maybe we're wrong. Just Australia's a lie. <laughs> Australia's a lie? Yeah, that's Australia's the, not real that. because it doesn't work on a flat earth oh, model. Australia's a hologram. <laughs> and everyone that says they're from Australia, right, is a paid hey, actor. I want to start yeah, that conspiracy theory. Too. I want to start that conspiracy theory that Australia is a hologram. Yeah. Uh, everybody hashtag Australia is a hologram. <laughs> I'm going to we'll tell Pe there. Pebo that. Yeah. People but, I, mean, I, I, tell him I don't that believe in Australia. Yeah, no, Pebo was the one that told me. Uh, cause he's he a hologram? Came on Ms. Yeah, he's the one that came on Miss Parker's stream and was like, Australia is not real in the flat earth. So <laughs> I guess he's a hologram. <laughs> and he told us he's that he's not real. I guess I he's he a... Uh, I guess his um, coding was a bit glitchy that day. Uh, exactly. But I mean, there's totally. that guy. There's a guy from Scotland, and his girlfriend lives in London. So oh, he flies um, down to see her a few times, but doesn't think that England is real. Rare, rare, rare. Wait, how close is he getting to England and he doesn't think it's real? Rare He's Reynolds. Like next door, he, right? Right next he door, lives right? in Scotland, which yeah. is right next door, and okay, he flies yes. to London, which is the capital of England. And he thinks you the mean UK... Ray Reynolds, I think. Um, uh, I swear I, I... he's a sarcastic git, though, so I never know when okay, he's fucking okay, with us okay, or okay, not. Okay. okay. He also I, I think thought it... Australia wasn't real, though, so I don't I, know. I can't think of who done the video on him. It might have been Creaky Blinder, like. Probably three, four years they, back. Rag Reynolds. Fucking okay. Rag Reynolds. That... Yeah. I know I, I used to know. watch him when he covered uh YouTube news and drama if, and shit. If, he used to be any, like a drama channel. Sorry. If anybody knows if he's done anything recently and um can drop the channel or find that that yeah. That might be something fun to go over in the future because that's what we're trying to do here is we're trying to like show the idiocracy of these people. And once again, I will say this about myself and at least part of the panel, and I'm not going to claim who who is or isn't, we're not very smart. We're, we're just normal people. We have not studied these different things, and we don't know all of the logistics of everything. But if our punk asses can figure it out, then you should be able to figure it out. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've all done our own things, but if 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 the guy with the tattooed face can like figure out the basics of like this stuff, then you should be able to figure it out as well. Um, let's say hi really quick to Demon, um, a Super Ghost, and I thought I saw oh Beaver C. So hello, all hello, everyone. Hello, hello, everyone. What's up? Once again, if there is anybody in the side chat who hasn't said hello to us, please go ahead and say that. Um, hi, hi, Australian city. That's me. <laughs> well, hon, check Discord a minute. Is that him? I will have a look. I honestly can't even remember what the guy looks like. Uh, might be. See, I, I'm not 100% oh, sure. Oh, yeah, I, know I think exactly. that is. He's okay. got... A serious Ukraine isn't real. Oh, Finland's yeah. not real. Reasons oh. ten reasons not to visit Australia. Yeah, I uh, think this is the East guy. Korea does exist. The sun isn't a Belgium big ball of fire. I mean real. You know... He's got a thing saying a message to Australia with him upside down. <laughs> he's a he yeah, thinks I... he's a comedian, which is why I said okay. like, Are you sure this is legit? Because like he was a drama channel that then went on some massive thing when Scotland implemented that law that everyone said is a violation of free speech and like now joking's gonna get you in prison and da 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 and stop doing yeah. YouTube drama because he said, Oh, I'm not risking going to prison for this. And it's like, 
well, it's not hard. Just don't call gay people the S slur. Don't call trans people the T slur. Like, yeah. All right, I, I'm going to step down from what I said previously because this looks like it could be a bit of a wind up. Okay, okay, okay. Or he yeah. leaned into it to avoid trolls. That is something he or, would do as yeah. well. Um, go ahead and uh, send me that uh, link in the Dis and Accords oh, just so I can check it out because okay. we might as well go over. I mean, even if people are being trolls, we're, we'll still talk about it. I mean, I, I'm still going to go over some of that crap. Um, just like, what's her name? Um, the, Miss whatever, the best citizen in America or whatever. Um, I think half of you should know who I'm speaking about. Um, she always dresses in like the... Okay, well, we're go Cookie's going over her tomorrow. So oh, cool. um, it's we'll going to be uh, How to Deal with Annoying People, I think is the name of the video <laughs> that she has. And it's a spoof thing. It's She's obviously pretending to be right wing or pretending to be Republican. and But it's a, it's a spoof. And we go cool. over those every once in a while because I like to have fun, especially when people don't know of... The content creator and then it's a spoof and then we show it and people are like are you fucking serious and i go no 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 that was a spoof you know there uh, there's a couple of content creators like the leftist yeah. redneck or something like that i think is the name of this gentle one of the gentlemen and he makes hilarious videos in his car in his pickup truck and he looks like a hick but he really is a smart person so he makes yeah. these funny um videos okay anyways let's keep going with this uh Everybody say hello to uh, H. Jasper E. Hello, hello. 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 And there hey, is the brainless. brainless. Hello. hello. Brainless. <sighs> have you been able to watch? Good. Have you been able to watch anything that we have gone over so far? Nope. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no, so, I had something else to watch. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That, I, 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 dirty I fingered, boy. Uh, what? Dirt, dirty boy. Naughty What's boy. What's dirty about that? So, um, really quick before we get this started, there is a gentleman as, at a family outing or with his family, um, and um, pretty much everybody in the family is agreeing with Flat Earth or with conspiracy theories. And so we're just listening to an echo chamber, a live echo chamber mm -hmm. <laughs> in front of us. Well, pretty hey, much at it least it not, it's not costing them, them their family. That's very true. Brain does. Tell me yeah. when you hear their accent that that is not one of the main accents you think of when you think of a dumb American. If, if what? what? Just wait until you hear the accent, and then you'll understand what we're what okay. she's speaking about or what. Yeah. Um. And I don't know. Um. Does Cookie have a daughter named Stacy? Because all we know, Stacy's mom has got it going on. <laughs> 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 that, that's good. That good. Good one, micro. Um, let's let let's go ahead and keep going. More and more people finding out that dirt is flat. I don't think so. <laughs> Homie, don't play that. Homie, don't play that. And that really changes everything, man. But what is? I don't get like Louisa just sent me a video about that. That dirt is flat. Lisa sent you a video of Derek this black? Yes, dog. Oh, fast folks. Say. <laughs> and what was it? What was it about? I'm going to get you some food. Hey, Anthony, I'm there. That it's written short. Oh, man. I, I got a video. Look at this meme that I got. It's so it must be real. That's written in the Bible. I would want yeah, to be like divorced from this family. Yeah, what? I'm. I would want to be divorced from this family. Yeah, this this is very interesting. Uh, yeah, so uh, this is where she's going to talk about how uh, the Bible says the earth is flat. So let's hear this. <laughs> the Bible, though. Hey, dude, what? How the f*** did... Okay, okay, I'm on it. I saw old Bibles where it showed that the earth is flat. I've seen this one, Genesis 47 to 9, pertaining to the flat earth. Yeah, you need to go why would she send you that? So she believes that the earth is flat. Oh, she believes the earth is flat now? See, that's another person. You're joking. Not another one? Oh, for God's sake, I can't honestly. Wait a little bit, because I'm going to put some But that's the reason. That's what's going on right now. 
Who, who put those uh, videos in there? Slim, we've also got full frontals now back. Would you? Okay. Oh. I'll bring. You want me? Oh, there we go. I can step out you... if you need me. No, 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 no. We have enough room. Uh, Sorry, guys. How are you doing, brother? Good, man. Thanks for Hello. thanks for waiting, man. I was taking a call from one of my Cold Watch crew members. Yeah, no, we we understand. No worries. Uh, so have you? Oh, so you probably haven't been hearing exactly what's going on. So a little bit. Uh, you guys are on flat okay. Earth talk, I think. Yeah, there's a family who's having a gathering. I don't know if they all live together because they don't seem to have because mm -hmm. the way they're talking seems to they, there's not enough cohesion about them talking enough, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, but they're just a family of people who are playing on the flat earth, you know, like, oh, oh, flat earth, flat, you know, yeah. so uh, what, what, if this is almost uh, over. But um, yeah, remember, ladies and gentlemen, the, the for one the I, I the bible is very sketchy there's a million versions of it it has been written and translated a gazillion times out of different languages so uh, one word could mean a gazillion things or they could have translated it improperly so just because it said flat yeah. or just yeah. it said... And, and from oh, what i got what i understand is like uh hebrew is what what is been written in originally hebrew yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo mo most most words there have like two or three meanings yep yeah so and, and, that's and once you can translate um, it however you want to translate it it's been and, mistranslated so many yeah, times yeah, and we yeah. literally have proof that it not like let's let's erase the fact that god doesn't exist let's assume yeah yeah in sure. our mindset he is real for a second yeah. right we still have proof that that book is not solely by his word. We have evidence of things like the don't eat shellfish. That's from when there was an epidemic of a parasite that was in shellfish, that instead of trying to tell everyone as a government, don't eat the shellfish because it will kill you. They said, God says, don't eat the shellfish because you'll go to hell. Everyone listened yeah. then. Yeah. Um, so there's a difference, there's a difference between written language and um i want to say it's called walkabout language or or walking language i think and that's what a society actually uses language for so yeah, when you, so techni you technically when you look at it the bible as we know it is actually incomplete yes it because, is yeah and, and uh, over complete the uh because the bible as added. we know it is also missing the gnostic texts those were books that were removed by the church from the actual yeah. Bible itself. But the totally. Bible, as we know it, is actually incomplete, which in yeah. turn, they have broken one of their greatest commandments, which is thou shalt not add to or take away from. So they've, but they have did, in turn broken their own law. Yeah. They've gone, they've done this to fit their own narrative too. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent, man. That's why, that's why these churches do this. This is why I do my channel too, is to expose these assholes, man. It's bullshit exactly. what they're doing. Scamming yeah. taxpayers? Right. No. The beautiful yeah. one that loads of them like to quote, they'll oh, show not allow a witch friendly, to my live. Um, no, no, no. Actually, thou shall not allow a poisoner to live, i.e. an apothecary, things like that. The people that yeah. aided in killing someone. So don't just kill the murderer, kill the person that made the poison. That then gets collectively translated to who created the concoctions, women, yep. Yep. witches. Also, I think there was an epidemic of aqua, aquafina, uh, mm -hmm. where women were poisoning their husbands under the guise of buying makeup that was poisonous, and then they were killing their husbands. Oh, and Vila. Like, thousands of people died. Sorry, yeah. I read this really good book about it's called Women Who Kill. Dude, women are ruthless killers, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they're ruthless, dude. Hell has no fury oh. like a woman oh. scorned. Oh, dude. Some yeah. of the stuff I read, I read one about a lady back well, in the duh. 1880s who yeah. burned her house down, killed her family, <laughs> whole family of seven, and then burned the house down with the kids in it. Yeah. What Probably, did you yes. do? Yeah. Have you heard the story of, um, I can't remember what it is, the queen of, I can't remember, queen of some country. She's a saint as well in the Christian uh bible a christian's like whatever it is and um she is like the patron saint of revenge yeah a group killed her husband so she massacred the entire village not village the entire like kingdom she mm -hmm. genocided them for killing her lover yeah yeah 
Um, okay, so let's get into like the last like yeah, ten but, seconds but, of this, and then yeah, but Slim, you also said like it doesn't sound like they uh, are coherent in their conversation, but like from what I just heard, those few seconds that I heard, mm -hmm. I'm not sure they could have a cohesion, cohesion, uh, coherent, coherent conversation with any yeah. with, with anybody about anything. Sorry, not my first language. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, definitely, we, we know, um, uh, and, and and definitely, I would I would agree on that. But because of the way they're talking about family members, it seems like they don't talk every day. Um, but yeah, they they don't seem like they're very knowledge, knowledgeable at all, and that's one thing that uh, it sucks about the um, school systems around the world is we don't teach people how to critically think we teach them how to learn or take in information and hold it and then use that later not how to actually process it or turn it into something that we use like the scientific method yeah. there's a reason we don't remember a lot of it now is because once we start uh, regurgitating it over and over and over again it's gone because it's not been stuck in our actual memory yeah We've just remember, like learned it. The minute we're not having to remember it, it goes. Yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, let's listen to the rest of it. Believe it or not. That's why he thinks the way it is. If it goes dead one, it will cover. Really? Okay. Yeah. 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 That they have no idea how stupid they are. <laughs> that one is great. Okay, there, there we go for that. All and whose right. channel was that on? That was on Everett Anderson's channel, who I usually will grab um, our uh, what's it called? Okay, so do we want to get into the meat? Well, do we? Let's. Okay, like, we got three options. Do we want to do? Oh, cheese and rice. I already thought I heard a doggy. Okay, okay. Do we want to do one uh, another flat Earth? Do we want to do Prager? You believes in ghosts, or do we want to do a, a woman explains how diaries are socialism? Uh, I would like to learn about how Prager you believes in ghosts, please. Okay, all right. Let's go. We can do definitely do that. I don't care uh, as long as I get to watch dumb people. We can oh, Prager U is a university of dumb. Not even a real university either. I know. We, so let's do um, one for Flat Earth, two for Prager, and um, three for How Diaries Are Socialism. Puppy dog. Thank you, Vila, for sending me that. I will definitely have to check that out later, and we will probably do something on them uh, later. Um, uh, I We did finally get um, Hick McDickerson, um, his own um, segment for the Drunken News Report. So we will have my uncle twice removed from my sister's dog's cousin's aunt. So we will have a very distant relative of mine who lives in Louisiana come on and uh, do the drunken news report. Um, uh, he's he will take that over for next week. So everybody be ready uh, f for that um, for him to, to make an appearance. It looks like we have twos. Let's just go ahead and get into. Uh, I, I I fingered that most of us wanted to get into this video. And so here we go. And then this, uh, I, I will go ahead and we are going to be using somebody else's video. So thank you, TMM channel. And I will show that right before we. So everybody go over here. And this uh, person goes through and picks out all these clips just like uh, uh, Everett Anderson does. So everybody go to the TMM channel and subscribe and like and show them love and uh without further ado uh let's find out why uh prager you believes in ghosts here's dennis prager to explain why you should believe in an afterlife is there an afterlife life after life end no 
There probably isn't a human being who has asked this question at one time or another. And here's the answer. If there is a God, there is an afterlife. That doesn't logically follow. Why can't it be the case that there's a God, but we all just stop existing when we die? Yes, exactly. Um, there can be multiple um, reasons why that happens. Um, well, because if God exists, then the, the Bible is true, and then there is an afterlife. Well, no, what I mean is, if there is a Christian God as the Bible describes him, then there is an afterlife. Not if there is any God, as anyone can describe or think of in any fashion. Yeah, but... Well, in, in the multiverse, he, right? If, if, if a dick like that says, if there is a God, then they mean that. Then they oh, mean if the, if the, if what I think is God exists. Yeah, right. they, they never wonder. That else they never else. wonder why people in uh, Muslim countries, when they have near death experiences, those near death experiences aren't with God or angels in the Christian Bible. They are uh, in the Muslim religion. Same with Buddhism, Sikh, uh, Hindu. Any of the religions, and why atheists rarely have one. They don't have these near life okay, experiences. Okay. When I died, I saw fuck all. Black. Don't remember it. I didn't even know it happened until I got told years later. Um, so I'm gonna actually use the original video. So he did have the original video link that I didn't see before. So we're gonna actually watch the original video and not use any of his content because we're gonna say the exact same things that um tmm said pretty much so let's go ahead with Probably. the original yeah yeah with the original video so no we're not stealing any of their content um and or using their video because yeah here we go is there an afterlife life after this life ends there probably isn't a human being who hasn't asked this question at one time or another and here's the answer if there is a god there is an afterlife Okay, in it's your that mind, simple. and here's in your well, mind, there, is... there there could be multiple reasons why existence keeps going without a being that is controlling that. Or, I mean, the multiverse, right, is just gazillions, billions of universes that are laying next to each other in different times or whatever. So, if you could go slip from one to the other, you technically would have an afterlife, right? Be first. That's a good one. That's a funny one, right? <laughs> I was laughing for it. Beaver says if there's an afterlife, that would make God a hoarder. <laughs> God damn, God's a hoarder. I knew yeah. it. Yes, that's very good. I just good. have one question. Awesome. So yes. everyone that has technically died and then been resuscitated, does that mean that they are now living their afterlife? See, that is a, a, a funny question to ask anybody like that because there have been people who have died multiple times and come back and, you know, like... Yeah, I've technically what, what, died multiple times because I had to have the light clear. Yeet. Yeah, yeah. Am I, am I um, a super ghost? I know that I have probably accidentally overdosed multiple times and... Mm -hmm. Oh. You know, coming back from that, I Scary don't thing, man. remember. Yeah, I don't remember, but, you know, uh, you definitely, I definitely ha went through a process. Um, go ahead uh, and put your uh, channel link again in the side chat so everybody can go okay. and sub to your channel. Uh, go ahead. And uh, let's keep going on with this. We have five minutes to get through, and we only got to 19 seconds. And you know, we're gonna pause this. We're gonna pause this a bunch, and we're gonna have a bunch of laughs. Uh, yeah. Hey, Cyborg, <laughs> so, do they only let you have so much time on this platform at a time? No, no. Nope. Oh, okay, okay. But we we um, we had we got a bunch of gr uh, people together, and we paid yeah. to get the um, Streamyard um, basic or whatever. So we have like okay. almost technically unlimited so um we'll probably go for two maybe three hours like okay. we around kind of what we normally do we'll see cool. how long it goes and 
Um, we will probably play a game before we end because we like to have a palate cleanser before we get the fuck out of here. So get we the will fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck so. out of here. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's let, listen to some more idiocracy because at one point he does talk about uh, how. Let, let, let's just go. That's <laughs> why. First, this life is filled with an immeasurable amount of injustice and suffering. The only. Okay, what does that really have to do with anything? Uh, why does that have to do with an afterlife? <laughs> I, I hate this argument so much. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Because Wait, people what? suffer in this life, there's something nice for them in the next life. So we're not going to focus on making this life better for anyone because they're going to get a better life in the next one. That may or may not ever happen. What if you don't yeah. die? <laughs> Wait, what? The, what if you sure. never die? <laughs> sure. I'm just saying. Exa exactly. What if you were a vampire? What if What <laughs> if there was a an existence or a being that didn't? Then okay, where's the that? Well, exactly. Vampire is already Ask dead. Ask Kenneth so. Copeland. He looks like a raisin wearing a grape skin. <sighs> oh my god, guy. he is the undead. No, he literally no, is a zombie. No, like what I always say is like if you would like be making a movie and you needed somebody to play Satan. And you would see his face. You would think, Perfect. I need him. Yeah. He definitely he, looks like a possessed spirit demon being. Yeah, yes, no, he he's definitely possessed, dude. I'm sorry. If if it, I don't, I wouldn't want to believe in demons. And I've been called a fallen angel and all kinds of blah blah blah. That gentleman, when I see him speak, especially when he gets mad about like people talking shit about him buying his gazillion dollar jets. He is fucking possessed because he gets way too like freaked out oh, about it. And yeah, I found I, I found another video of him talking about something recently, but it wasn't the original video, so I have to source that video. But he recently just said some other some more crazy, crazy shit that crazy we're shite. gonna try to go over. It's Eddie, crazy shite, exactly. Slim, did you see the one where he drank his own fucking blood on stage? Wait, what? Yeah, How long that was ago like was a while that? ago. I think they took it down. It's some weird fucking shit, dude. He like cut himself on stage and fucking dro dropped it in some fucking grape juice and drank it. Wow. Yeah, no, I think he might have taken that, that one down because it was really okay. fucking weird, dude. <laughs> There's got to yeah. be somebody who's clipped it yeah. though. So oh yeah, you'll find it. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Um. So uh, um. It, it looks like you only need uh two more subscribers to get to 1K. So if we well, can get everybody, check this out. I hit a thousand subscribers today, but because of what I'm doing, I feel the cult i'm just exposing um they had burner accounts that were subscribed to my channel once i hit a yeah. thousand i lost yeah. all subscribers i was yeah totally because yeah. we'll i got it, into a thousand earlier today i um i used a load of my sock accounts to boost you up because mm -hmm. i was like oh you've got nine more to go i've got a few sock accounts so you'll get to a thousand you'll be able to get monetized you'll be able to do all the cool things yeah. fuck it i'll do that then hey, two hours later they're gone like yeah. people, they literally demon. They like literally unsubscribed. Uh, other people have unsubbed. I, that's he shaved happening. his beard. He shaved his beard to get to a yeah. thousand, and he did it. And now it's for naught. Please, yeah. Yeah. please yeah. make it for naught. I was, yes. I was a little heated about that because in the end, YouTube controls the narrative on the platform, man. You yeah. know, yeah. they'll, they'll definitely support the extremism, but when it comes to people spitting out the truth, oh man, they do not like that. Yeah, well, they're they're in it for the money. I mean, they're in it for the advertisers. So if you're not uh, yeah. gonna bring them any money for advertisement, they don't give yeah. a flying screw about us. Yeah, they um, don't. Yeah. Um, so, but we, hopefully, we will get you full to one k with right with real accounts, and that's what they were doing to me for my five hundred. I was yeah. I kept going to five hundred, getting losing, going up like for like a month. Yeah. So, and it's really weird the way the algorithm works, man. It's shitty because, like, they control, they ultimately control it, man. They really do. Yeah. Okay. So let's get into some more um, uh, suffering from us listening to this fool talk about how somehow <laughs> suffering, <laughs> somehow suffering in life causes the afterlife. Like, I don't know. Does. does Oh, okay, let's just keep going because I can't sometimes uh, understand the idiocracy and it makes me just dumbfounded. So let's keep going because I want to talk about the ghosts. He's going to talk about ghosts soon. Out of injustice and suffering. The only way there can be some ultimate justice for victims of evil 
as if there is an afterlife. And the only way comfort is available to those who suffer unjustly, from painful disease and premature death to the death of a child. Wait. What? Okay, once again, Sorry. how does how does this have to do with anything? Why does there need to be one and then the other? There's just because you have causation doesn't mean circumstance, right? Is that is that the right thing to say? I think so. Just because one exists doesn't mean the other has to exist. Ah. It just seems like that they should, but they technically don't have to. So correlation does not equal causation. There, we, there we go. I knew I was fucking. I had it inside of my uh, self. Hey, I, oh. I knew my my balls were twisted. I knew it was close to no cigar. <laughs> you know, the testicles are twisted. I had it on the end of my penis and. <laughs> Okay, let's keep, let's keep, uh, anybody else want to put in two cents before we, uh, get on the, with the idiocracy? I, I did find, uh, someone that talked about kind of drinking his blood. Oh, oh you I did? just found That's the Joseph. original video. Nice, nice. Oh, okay. kick ass. So nice. let's get Better. through this, let's get through this a little bit more. And you know what we're going to do is we're going to chipmunk. Prager you, Mr. Prager, we're going to chipmunk him because it'll be even funnier if he's speaking at double speed about this shite because it's going to take us a million years to get through this if we don't chipmunk him. Thanks, Glober Mom. Appreciate you guys. Yes. Thank you all for helping out. So here we go. As if there is an afterlife. But such an afterlife exists only if there is a good and just God. A good and just God provides a way to compensate make any for all the unjust suffering in this world. Second, since God is not physical, the physical world is not the only reality. There is also a non-physical reality. And we humans have a part of us which, being non-physical, survives the death of our body. We call it the soul. But if there is no God, this physical life okay, is all there is. So, no God. Okay, okay, okay. Go for it. <laughs> no God, <Okay>. hold <laughs> Um... No God. All right. No so, God, no soul. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think how I want to say this. Um, he is correct on there being two bodies. There's the physical and there's the metaphysical. Yeah, yeah. Um, totally. The, metaf- but... the, metaf- the, the metaphysical is uh, ag- would actually be considered the soul. Because it allows you to be able to travel outside of your body you, through the use of, you know, meditation, spiritual yoga, psychedelic drugs, things to that effect. But, so the soul, yeah, do, yeah. the soul does in fact exist. Um, but where it, it exactly mean it doesn't mean God though? It just means well, that we have this. Well, here's here's what I'm saying about it is that. The soul being one of the ultimate creations, because I mean, um, I personally, I believe in the immortality of the soul. I always have. Mm -hmm. Um, But the soul itself is one of the ultimate creations of the creator. Now, when when he says God, he's clearly explaining it from the aspect of a Bible thumping, a Bible thumping or or Bible humping, whatever you want to say. um, uh, Right right wing evangelist clearly um see that's what the thing that people get confused is what these fire and brimstone conservative preachers are not telling you it, they're just trying to scare you it's Your it's tactics. basically it, it's yes it's ba- that's basically what it is what they're not telling you is that um what we know god to be like our conception of what we know god to be is it, i mean it's so many different forms i mean but they're talking about just an angry father figure that sits in the sky and's like no 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 i'm gonna punish you if you do that you yeah. know um well yeah. then what was the purpose of giving us number one the soul and number two free will exactly. um, yep so um that's what makes I mean, us so beautiful to god is that we have that power of free will man well, exactly, but see the whole thing about um, now. Th- there's um, I want to uh, uh, <laughs> one thing that 
He came inside. He's like, I'm from <laughs> Hey, man, oh. David E. Taylor said that God was inside him one time, too. Or he was well, inside I'm, God or something. Well, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, us yeah. being created... Well, I mean, us being created in in God's image, I mean, he yeah. is us and we are him. So, uh, I'm, I mean, a lot of that viewpoint, I mean, does stem from, you know, um, Gnosticism, especially the part about the immortality of the soul. Yeah, this guy's um, a cult leader, though. Well, obviously. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but, I mean, I... I it, it, I, oh my God! I, I I want to scream at people like this. Yeah, I mean the thing is is is, is <clears throat> my favorite example is uh, the spaghetti monster. You know, it, it could be anything. Can be anything. I mean, re- literally, it can be whatever your imagination comes up with. Or, to the best of our knowledge, it is something way outside of our uh, spectrum of understanding that we're never going to understand what's really going on. So it's just these people who are using the unknown to and people being scared to get them to think the way they want and to be stuck inside this bubble or to be corralled into technically giving them money. I mean, really, it's all just a freaking scam to make money off of people who are too scared or ignorant uh, or naive to um, figure out how to do this on their own, which... If you need a support system, that's totally fine. There's nothing against having a support system. But you don't need to go to some dude every week mm-hmm. and bow down and listen to what he says is his interpretation of something to get you to throw money in the yeah. plate. Churches can be great for socialization. They can be great yeah. for like getting out, especially for older people. But yeah. any religion, and I mean any religion, that requires money for you to go and pray bullshit is bullshit mm-hmm. yeah, god totally. if god exists anything he everything he made is around you yeah why do you need to go into a building that man made not god mm-hmm. to pray surely you should go in a fucking forest or some beautiful place that god actually created to go worship yeah. god totally nature is exactly. church man it, this exactly. is why i appreciate nature more than a yep. deity Yep. Nature's yeah, what's yeah. keeping us alive, not yep. theory, theoretical not people in the sky. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Um, uh, <clears throat> praying to, well, whatever. Just, let, let's just keep going, and I will be right back. So I'm going to let this play, and then I will stop it once I get back. I'll be back in just like a couple seconds. Okay, doodles. Uh, no soul, no soul, no afterlife. Now, of course, those who doubt God's existence have every reason to doubt an afterlife. But if you believe in a good God, then you have to believe there's an afterlife. If you say you believe in God, but not in an afterlife, the God you believe in is not only not good, that God is cruel. That God made a world filled with unjust suffering and just left it at that. Now, some people who don't believe in an afterlife offer their own version of immortality. Get over it. I once attended a funeral where the man officiating said, while there is no afterlife, we do live hey, on through our good come works here, and in the memories of loved ones. Come here. That's what a lot of people who reject an afterlife want to believe. But the idea that human beings live on through their good works or through the memories of loved ones, which generally means a person's children or grandchildren, is simply meaningless. If people live on through their good works, then children who die don't live on. The number of good works most children are even Wait, capable what? of is minuscule. As for babies who wow. die, no, babies can't engage in good works at all, so I guess they say? just don't live on. Anyway, the truth is that bad works usually live on we longer than nearly any good works. In fact... Oh, there you go. So, uh, children okay. that die don't live on, which is some bullshit. Because, I'm sorry, a child can do amazing things. Have you seen the, like, five-year-olds that have made charities when they're dying of some rare disease? The amount of money they've raised for charities. Things like that. And you're <coughs> telling me that that doesn't live on in the hearts and minds of people. Yeah. Fuck you. And I love how um, I uh, paused it at the right point where it says Hitler on the screen. So that's awesome. You're welcome, <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Remember, YouTube, we do not believe in anything that this um, MF is saying. We are doing this to uh, talk about how he is a complete moron and is pushing, is peddling some woo, the biggest woo cart I've ever seen. I'll be right so, back. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And 
humans are the worst thing to happen to humans, yep. though I believe in God. God is simply a human construct to explain the humans what do, humans didn't understand. Yeah, there's, I mean, lots of versions of it just because somebody has an idea of what a deity is or how this cosmic thing works doesn't mean that you're you're the right one you know it's the ones that are trying to make money off of it or that are the horrible ones where like i could sit here all day and tell you exactly what i think about <clears throat> how the universe works but i'm never going to ask you for money for it i may ask you to buy me a beer but that's a whole different story because that's like you know part of sitting down and hearing a story is you know you give the drunkard yeah, the, beer, the beer and then he tells you yeah yeah it's like yeah cool i'll tell you my story I'm like, come here, buy us a beer, and we'll drink, and I'll we'll tell talk you a about story. It. Yep. Yeah, exactly. STSC, right, let... yes, I'm gonna agree with your with your comment there. Religion makes people say some hideous things, and it makes it seem like it's all good, a good cause narrative. Yes, exactly. that's why any war with religion involves scares the absolute shit out of me, because wars that involve religion have the most dis disgusting atrocities happen in yeah. them yeah, and they talking, do it with a cleansings. smile on their face yep. and say it's believe. just and their god yep. believes in it so what they are doing is holy and righteous and that's they where you see the worst fine. war crimes too Villa. yeah mm -hmm. bad war crimes Oh, completely. Because because once again, just like Vila said, they feel just from it. Yep. They're like, oh, I have a purpose in doing this. There is a reason that I can yep. mutilate this person. Yep. And all in the name of religion, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, it's religion, man. Did he get to talking about ghosts yet? I don't think so. I don't no. think so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That comes a little bit later. So if works make us immortal, Hitler, with all the evil he did, is far more immortal. Than the kindest people on earth. As for living on in the memories of our children, <clears throat> um, through people talking about him, I guess it's but, a I biological mean... imperative ingrained in us from when we were like prehistoric, um, to remember the negative things more than the good things because it's okay. like, oh shit, don't eat those berries. Bill ate those berries and then he died shitting himself. So let's avoid eating the berries because that will kill us. Let's so not negative do that, yeah. things stay in our brain more as a yeah. survival instinct. So we remember Hitler more than we remember good things because it's a negative thing. And thus we remember it to remember yeah. this was a bad thing. Let's not fucking do All it this, again. I'm no a history expects, major, guys. You know, I'm sorry. Glover bomb the Spanish Inquisition. I studied that. I'm a history major. That's I studied at Texas A&M. I was going to teach high school, but I saw all the bullshit that was going on. But the Spanish Inquisition was one of the worst times, man. Totally. The, yeah. the preachers were the ones administering the fucking torture, man. Yeah. Preachers were standing there saying, oh, what's the best method to extract information? Hey, go ahead and stack a few more stones on his chest. Yeah, I know. It was um, The worst oh, thing about it, yeah. I think, was the trial of cake. Trial of cake. I'm going to tell me. I'm all about, about it. That. No, I never heard of it. Rich people were allowed to have a bite of cake. And they had to say the Lord's Prayer while eating it. And that was Ooh. their thing. That was their torture during the Spanish Inquisition for rich people or ladies in waiting, things like that. Anyone high enough status. They had the trial of a cake, eating a cake and saying... Our Father who art in heaven. If they choke on it, they're a witch because the witches cannot yeah, yeah. say the Lord's Prayer mm, mm, without okay, choking. Okay. I found it says, uh, is an actual ritual used in 16th century England where the accused is supposed to swallow a dry lump of consecrated bread or cheese to prove their innocence. Mm. Yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> it's so like, silly. It's insane. Like the rich people had that, but anyone else gets tortured bloody. And even then, People still choked to death on it because they were so scared they had a panic attack while eating the fucking bit of yeah. bread. Yeah. Like, <laughs> ah, history is amazingly cool, but it's so dark and fucked up. Yeah. People are dark and fucked up. All right. Touche, so... sir. Touche. Touche, touche. So looks like we have a, an, a, an American. Get him. We had an American yes. bot. Kill the bot. Get him. Get him. Um, thank Fuck you for the, the bot. Fuck well, the bot. Do, 
the good thing is those bots actually here. give us views. Yeah. So thank yeah. you for being a viewer on our channel. What we are going to do to you, my channel but... is they take my they take my views away, my subscribers away. Do they what they do actually that? do? Yeah, no bullshit. If you have bots on your channel, it brings your mm -hmm. view count down. If you you can go in and look on okay. Okay. your data, and it'll tell you that. Like, hey, yeah, yeah okay. you can lose views with your bots, man. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, we delete them immediately anyways, yep. and we get rid of them, we take care of them, we report them, and we do all that fun stuff. That's why everybody is yeah. blue in the chat, because we make sure that that happens immediately. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, and, then, and then we all go to those three dots and hit the... Reported. Exactly. Report. Um, but thank you for being here for the five milliseconds that you're in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I like how so, the boar red too. It's like, oh, it's, it's so easy to spot a man. Oh, I know. It's, it's hilarious. Okay, so let's keep going with uh, uh, for living memories of our children who have those of the no children, blah, 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 whatever this weirdo is saying. And you know what I love about this? How he made them blue. <laughs> They're not just like regular <laughs> humans. They're like <laughs> fucking like. <laughs> They're like fucking uh, so, like alien species. Of see throughness because it's, it's yeah. blue background and they're yeah. lighter blue, so it's all like, ooh, spooky. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do we say to those who have no children? Sorry, you don't live on. Moreover, living on in anyone's memory, as beautiful as that is, oh, is not the same as immortality it, or an you're afterlife. You're the one that ascribed it to children. Loved ones doesn't mean children. Doesn't just mean children. Loved and, ones is the people that love you. Hell fucking and, yeah. And loved. I will and I want hey, to say man. to what he's probably not getting at, but if you adopted or you yeah. brought in your uh, like say your your sister or your your cousin is having problems with their kids and you bring them in and you sh teach them how to live you are passing on your influence to other people i get on stage adopting Fostering. i get on yeah exactly I, that's the first thing i get on stage and when i do my shows how many people walk away and <clears throat> forget what they just saw me do or i try to inspire people when i get on stage look what i can do you can do whatever you know there is a passing on of knowledge anybody who writes a book Anybody who makes a movie, anybody who puts in anything to the zeitgeist that other people witness is giving you immortality as long as that keeps being passed on. Or at least oh. somebody is using your influence in a way to use something else or make something else. Doctors, nurses, school teachers, college, yeah. university, any teachers, people that do like charity clubs or events or things like yeah. My doctor that performed my surgeries, I remember him to this day. He's left an impression on me for life. <clears throat> oh, the guy who he gave will me be remembered. The like... doctor who gave me my vasectomy, I'll never forget him. <laughs> <laughs> like... Yeah, me, me either, man. Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> we must have the same doctor or something. It's probably, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was so he was so in testicle. I mean, in in uh, never mind. Influential. Um, never mind. Um, so he, he's definitely pigeonholing this concept and saying it has to be this oh. narrow, f you know, field. And it goes, no, mm -hmm. there's so many other ways that you can influence the world. That's or what he does. Like, no, I know, I know. We know what Prager. So I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody here knows who Prager U is. And if you have not, or you don't know. Just, just let us cover it. Don't, don't go there and watch their stuff. Don't give them views. Don't even go there and dislike. Slim, just, I, I, I didn't know, but I've seen enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's pretty horrible. We'll get into a little bit more of this, and then um, we'll get into a funny video, and then we'll get into some more stupidity, and then we'll probably play a game to end this. But uh, let's, you know, what's really trippy to me is wow. normally when we put somebody at. 1.5 1.75 speed they sound like a chipmunk do you notice how he almost sounds normal at this speed <laughs> like literally he is is he has not changed i mean like listen listen as woody allen put it i don't want to achieve immortality through my work i want to achieve it you see how deep his voice is still like normally when we chipmunk people it chipmunks them out his voice has not changed at all really i love chipmunk voice man 
It, it is one of the best things that I like doing with flat earthers. When I play flat earth videos, I love chipmunking the crap out of them because it makes it so much more fun. Yeah. I couldn't get this to happen with him. I'm sorry. I tried really hard. And why are we talking about Woody Allen? Oh, cheese and rice. We're talking about Woody Allen. Oh, here we go. Let's get. Luckily, I'm not monetized. Otherwise, we'd get demonetized, or we would have had been a long time ago. But we definitely get demonetized now. You not would gone. have gotten cake. There's no after. <laughs> yeah. Life, we don't live on. Period. Let's be honest enough to acknowledge that. If there's no afterlife, none of us will ever again be with those we most love and who love us. If there's no afterlife, neither anyone murdered nor any murderer will ever receive ultimate justice. If okay, but that doesn't mean there has to be one. Just because your brain doesn't want there to be a conscious uh, continuation, because that's the other thing, is just because there's a continuation does not mean that anything happens to what he says. There doesn't need to be justice. We could all end up in like an, an a, a immortal suit that we're all hanging around as like floating uh, orbs with no body, with no brain, and we're just ghost all orbs. going, yeah, and it, ghost <laughs> orbs exactly. And we're all just hanging out together, going, oh, there's Hitler, there's there's this person, there's that person. Why why does there there why That's does there have to be? Oh. Well, of course. I mean, we're definitely doing that in the afterlife. I don't know how that's going to happen, but we will facilitate orgies in the afterlife um, because I can't facilitate them well enough now. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Someday we'll hopefully try to get together, everybody. But, you know, if not, <laughs> we'll, we'll <laughs> try in the afterlife. Um, let's see. Uh Okay, that kind of makes sense. Um, it doesn't change the pitch. Well, it changes the speed up or slows it down. <clears throat> but the video editor may. Okay, okay, maybe that's what it was when we were using the video editor to um, do it. But I swear there was a handful of flat earthers that when you would speed it up, they would... <laughs> like CC, I swear. CC will no, like, that, totally... He already has that kind I, of annoying yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I per I'm pretty sure that every time we um, sped up CC, he turned into like a little chipmunk and it. now thinking don't about don't it insult chipmunks yeah well now thinking about it i should totally put cc's face on a chipmunk and use that as a background every next time i use his video and chipmunk him up just like arwin or arwin or whatever his name was i don't know if he's still doing content but that little pipsqueak little dude with like the wannabe mustache and he sat in his room like Eight, streaming eight hours a day and was crying after two years of doing it. I'm not making money. Yeah, dude, that's not how this works. You don't make money doing YouTube videos. I mean, you have to get sponsors or there's a handful of ways to actually make money on the YouTubes to where you can pay rent and you can pay for stuff like a significant other. Food dude, you got to have stuff. like, you got to be pushing like 500,000 subscribers though to get that kind yeah. of yeah. session, man. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, totally. Yeah, and then 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 get a sponsor like a cereal company or like a, a, a um what's the new thingy, Mabobber, with the the hiding your IP address or whatever. Oh, VPNs. Yeah, so that's the main the main thing right now is if you get a hundred thousand subscribers, you can go to a VPN company and they'll fucking you know pay you to to throw yeah. their company. But again, you have to or you or have to do so much more. You have to do so much butts. more. Yeah, there's so many things you have to do. And, and like, okay, 10 years ago, you could easily, if you were on the YouTubes and you were trying to do it, that's when you could have maybe had, a, like, a little bit of a window to do that. But nowadays, you can't freaking do this anymore. I mean, yeah. Like, the ones that I see, like, Kit Boga, the ones that expose these, like, the scammers, like, dude, that guy's, dude, that guy's balling it, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. That, that scam bear, dude. Kit is awesome, Dude, that guy's a fucking boss, man. Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, he yeah. is. That guy's born. It's, he's doing just what he's supposed to do. <laughs> we'll see. And that's that's the other thing is he found a, a niche that he has yeah. a really good talent at. Yep. He's able yep. to um, bring you a great uh, content. Uh, yeah, and and is a good character, or you know, yep. is 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 able to be fun he in brings, front of the camera, or you know, yeah. it makes it makes it interesting. Um, where. 
most content creators don't understand how to be lively or to interact yeah. with the audience, the side chat with all the different, it's kind of overwhelming if you if you've never dealt with multiple things happening at once, like being a musician, being on stage, yeah. doing magic, um, being a sideshow performer, all that stuff. I'm yeah. able to look around my screen and go, what do I have to do? And then I look at my time and I go, oh, we've been talking about this way too long. We need to start this. Or for content, uh, using people's content, you have to break it up every so often. You can't just let a 40 minute video go. Otherwise you're just going to get struck. You got, if you chop it up enough and you figure out how to slow it down speed it up and do other things, you're not going to have to worry about that as much. There are little yeah. things you can do just with production that yeah. just make you stand out a little bit more. I'm not going to say that I'm very good at anything. I'm the mediocre king is what I call yeah. myself. I am awesome at a bunch of things, but I'm not the best. Yeah. yeah, I'm not the best. I'm just good at a lot you're of jack, things. You're just jack of all trades. <laughs> yeah, I'm a jack off of all trades. That's why my, my hand you is You said so it, sore. not us. Your jack my hand is so trades. sore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I said last time, though, remember the fool saying, Jack of all that? trades, master of none is often better than a master of one. Yes, and um, that's why I'm, you know, I'm able to help uh, so many people with so many different things and work oh, on so many different projects. So yeah. Jack off. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said my hand is tired, but I, I'm here for all of you. Uh, oh, I thought you like my hands tired, tight. but I'm strong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your your hands may be tired. My hands are tight. Uh, oh, never mind. Come here, bud. Um, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll talk. We'll, we'll talk about that uh, like in June or something. I, I, I think. I, you know, you know what I really love about what I just realized that is on my screen is it says if there's no afterlife, there's a dude with his hands up and he's holding a bloody knife. <laughs> well, if there's no afterlife, I may as well just go and stab everyone to death. Yay! Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, if I'm not going to get punished, let's go ahead and start murdering everybody. All right. Well, I'm going to admit it. I thought the Christmans were the thought, of, yeah. the thought of hell and an afterlife is the only thing stopping them hurting people. But don't they get forgiven anyway? Well, see, that's the whole hilarious thing is all you have to do is repent right before you die and you technically would get into heaven, even though they have all these loopholes and they say you're not supposed to. But if you really read it, it says, yes, if you repent to the Jesus of the Christ, then. But like. They ask like, "How do you get? Where do you get your morality?" It's, it's. I know where I get yeah, it. It's called society, and that, that, that's empathy. Yeah. Well, that, empathy. That, it, that, and it's also societal norms. Yes. Whatever yeah. the society collectively decides is is right or wrong, that's what you go with. Because in the Europe's, there are nude beaches or there are topless beaches. In the Americas, that is very very frowned on. You will get a go to jail get maybe ticket. if you. Yeah. 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 So over here, on a beach, it's normal to see a woman topless, topless. Yes, sunbathing, yes, right? Yes, yes. If you want to be completely stark bollock naked, then you have to go to special no. yeah. nudist beaches or yes. mainland Europe. Yeah, yeah. There yeah. are nudist yeah. sections of beaches. In the UK, it ha is normally its own little cove out of sight. Yeah, and yeah. we have here, here, here as well. Here, here. In, in, yeah. over everywhere that that's like it's just out of sight or they, they put a structure in it in yeah. between it yeah you, yeah you, it, you get a warning that that's the nudist yeah. area but otherwise it's called french sunbathing sunbathing topless and that's normal no one really bats too yeah. much of an eye and the thing is is at one point we all sucked on a titty in our life man <laughs> so yeah. Right. Yeah, no, yeah. And, and, and that's also like here it is not that frowned upon that yeah. a woman breastfeeds in public, but yeah. in America, ooh, it's titty, yeah. it's sex. Yeah. Like, yep. we're so we're so American, 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 American friends. No, we're so desensitized to the. Player. 
no, we're so desensitized to sex and the human body. It's just, you know, it, it's frowned upon that kind of thing, man. Yeah, I'm yeah. not. I'm so, way so open minded. So, it's like, dude, my English you meant eat, to man. be the sexually repressed country, and yet we're like, oh, you got to breastfeed. Go for it, love. Yep. Yep. So once Did again, it's, because it's once not, again it has nothing to do with sex. Yeah. yeah and, and once again, the Bible does not uh, dictate any of that bull crap. It is nope. the societal norms of the place that you are in at the time. And all around the world, there are so many different types of societal norms and what is acceptable and what's not that that's where the morality comes in. You don't just go to Baby a Jesus South... Baby Jesus it must be okay. Exactly. <laughs> it, you don't go to South America and just start like messing with uh, uh, the, one of the statues or you don't just start running around the streets naked you, you know you, you you go with what's going on and that changes throughout history as well and so yep yep um, societal norms let's, let's 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 just say let's just use victorian era as an example really quick before we get on because we should probably keep going uh you couldn't show ankles you couldn't show elbows you had to wear these big big outfits with a corset on showing making you skinny as crap which caused a lot of um, injuries so again that was a societal norm was it right probably not we should not have made men and women um, um go through those uh the corset thing is kind of a myth because those yes, were those ways yes, are artificially yeah. done because um yeah. it was boot padding and waist padding and corseting and tight lacing are very different to where it was done with the children it 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 didn't move organs around the body basically and breathing wasn't restricted so like that was in fact a victorian man writing newspaper article bullshitting about it because he had a problem with women corseting and it kind okay, of stuck yeah. so again a yeah. man trying to dictate social norms as to what he wanted it to be regardless of the actual facts of the situation so they're doing that here in america right now yeah well when does america <laughs> not <laughs> they're fucking <laughs> telling women what they can do with their bodies man yeah um <laughs> okay so let's keep going with this and so we can get to the next theme or i think i have one more thing to get to if there's no afterlife this life for the vast majority of people who ever lived and for those alive now is a meaningless crapshoot. Finally, people always ask me, so what happens in the afterlife? To which I can only respond, I don't know, but I do know this. My belief in God and the afterlife keeps me sane. The thought that this life is all there is means that torturers get away with the horrors they have engaged in. It means that this life is random and pointless. And it means that I will never again see anyone I love. This would drive me mad. In fact, I don't see how it wouldn't drive anyone mad who cares about suffering and who loves anyone. So is there an afterlife? If there is a God, of course there is. I'm Dennis Prager. God. Okay. Oh, oh but my God. So, he, he calls that saying? Oh, never mind. <laughs> These people. Oh, no. There's, suffer there's so much suffering in this world. God must be evil if there isn't an afterlife. Exactly. That's the point. Why don't you focus instead of saying, well, oh, the next life will be better. The next life will be better. Think, let's make this life better. Yeah. Why can't both be grand and jolly old time? Yeah. Ah, sorry, amen. 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 You, you, okay, should, you um... should be one of those... Uh... YouTube preachers. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll I'll be your hype hype man. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, man, you, you can say that full frontal. You can say that you were here for the incept, the beginning of my cult. Okay, okay. When yeah. you go yes. and debug my cult later on in life, you can be like, That's I was awesome. there. I remember like, her. Oh, I remember her. <laughs> I'm, I'm on a new one now though there's another lady i'm exposing now she's she's up shit creek yeah she's up shit creek right now i've already called the local Good. police and sent over videos of where she's gonna be called the catholic Good. church and said hey this lady's coming to your town watch out sounds like you're doing good work man yes. dude, fuck these preachers dude it's bullshit 
He's yeah, coming to a town in Texas, not far from here. And mind you, Texas is very religious, right? I called, I called the, I sent an email out to the police lieutenant in Yoakum, Texas, and then I also called Austin Police Department and reported child abuse up there because these fucking cults, man, they got kids in there and they're fucking tying kids up and brainwashing them, man. Tying them up? Not tying them up. No, and shit. Scratch like, that. They're, they're they're manipulating them, like brainwashing them, man. But I have seen in her videos of physical restraint on these kids, man, in open yeah. air fucking revival bullshit, dude. I'm like, nope, not happening. Yeah, there's the a lot of like out of these kids. And yeah, say, from oh, you're possessed. This happened in the UK a few years ago, mm. and children were murdered. We had one of the most horrific cases of a small child and family being held hostage, beaten to death by preachers like this because yep. witchcraft was in them. Yep. And the thing is, is this what makes this dangerous? I'm not sexist or anything, but the fact that she's a woman is what makes her even more dangerous because oh, of that yeah. maternal figure that yeah. people are more willing. And the lady's real beautiful too, but guys, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to make her people more willing to be like, oh, here's my kids. Here's my family. Here's my money. Here's my well-being. I said in your stream, like when it's a woman, your guard's down. Because when it's a man, there's that expectation of, oh, he could be dangerous. He might be trying to like sleep with me. Yeah. With a woman, the CDC, you don't so expect it that much. And those women are normally the first person to prep that woman all up, get her all ready and brainwash and hand her over to some other person to fucking assault her. Yeah. They're the yeah. first people to be up that alley doing that sort of shit. Evil women like that. And that's what makes them even more dangerous. Okay, so um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go over some idiocracy in the right wing of America. Um, <clears throat> so Pretty everybody much goes to... Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, I everybody was, I was goes saying, to... Like, could, 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 could you pick what idiocracy well, you would... Well, pick? we're going to show... Um, <clears throat> this is uh, this gentleman, Walter Masterson... Everybody go over there and subscribe. Went to a... Uh, I'm just going to say like a, rally? a Trump rally. I'm going to say a Trump rally, but I think it was um, the white nationalist rally that just happened a week ago. Nice. Um, but we will find out in just a second, and we're just going to hear a bunch of idiocracy. Um, we're going to try to go through this, like, uh, just let them talk, and then we'll, like, laugh at the end because... It's so stupid. There's no reason for us to even say uh, most of this, but I will stop it uh, every once in a while. The CDC themselves put the they lowered the rate to six percent. So if the people do the research, the evidence is there. You got to just do the research. Where is the research? Because there's everyone saying at the CDC website. The CDC website is the best place for you to do your own research. It's one of the places to start. Because they do tell the truth on, on the CDC website. It's the mainstream media that's manipulating it. But so. we can trust the CDC? No. <laughs> you can't. Okay, so he said you gotta go to the CDC. Holy oh, fucking uh, god! Okay, like, let's just like, keep going. So no, no, go ahead, Bernice. Right? Yeah, 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 like yeah, yeah, if, yeah. if if you read a book with contradictions, then you learn to contradict yourself, I guess. Well, that's part of it, that's part of it for sure. Okay, so let's keep going. Can't trust them. You can't trust the CDC, but you can trust their website because that's where the numbers are, and the numbers don't lie. Yeah, so you know, you just you got to get your information from a lot of people like you. The information's out there. All you got to do is look. Okay, but so. we can trust the CDC. No, <laughs> you can't trust them. But they have more. They, 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 they have three times now. It's only six. You can't trust the CDC. But you can trust their website. Their website. That's where the numbers are. That's where the numbers don't lie. CDC. <laughs> okay, okay, let's keep going. They recommend stuff. They recommend Green Zones, which is a uh, concentration camp. Um, on their website, they say that, but other people just ignore it. The CDC has what's called Green Zones. It's called yeah. Green Zoning, where they build these concentration camps. And they just, and what happened in Texas? Yeah, so it's uh, Green Zoning is where they take you away for six months, and it's literally Nazi style concentration camp. And it's CDC website, they, they say it. So I'm in Texas. That's, it that's what it's on. And then in Texas, uh, a builder from China who builds concentration camps just bought it's like 160,000 acres in Texas. How do we fight that? I mean, we've got a Republican legislature, Republican governor, and how are they letting this go down? So if you're watching this, call your governor 
and you know put a stop to this. Do, do they? Do you, have, do you have any information on where it might be? No, I don't have any information. I can't cite anything. It's just news we got down. One hundred sixty thousand acres. Back. What an asshole. <laughs> Wow. Oh, no, I don't know where it is. We've not got any information about its location. It's 160,000 acres that no one in Texas noticed being built. Yeah. And, I mean, this is um, such. Go, go, Pearl. Oh, I was just going to say this is such, like, flat Earth style arguing. Yeah. No, NASA never went to the moon. They're lying about that, and we know they're lying about that because NASA says the Van Allen radiation belts are dangerous. Yeah. Well, hang on a minute. You're using the same source to say that they're lying. I question. Do these people? Use... I question. Do these people even think? Like, have common sense to think any kind of rational thought? Be like, hey man, that could be bullshit. Ah, apparently, uh, man. I saw no. you said like these people that do conspiracy theories have a lower uh intelligence not intelligence um common sense factor something yeah, like yeah. that yeah uh yeah, cognitive, cognitive, cognitive yeah. yeah reasoning yep, yep. okay oh, <clears throat> just say hi to him say well, hi. well and the other thing well the other thing is is they have a narrative they want to stick to they don't want to fucking jump outside their box they don't want their box exploded they don't want to be out of their echo chamber so they will hold on to whatever they can to stay inside of not changing. And that's the major problem with these people is they don't want to change. They think that they're completely right. Uh, they have the right information and they've been already given. They already made up their mind. You Even this dude, it, he's pretending to be one of them, obviously, which is tricking yeah. them to some extent. But he literally is just like taking them on this ferris wheel ride he's like you're looping it you know like we're doing a loop-de-loop -loop. do you not see how you're loop-de-looping your freaking self and they just fall for it which is so easy and i'm not saying the other side isn't as dumb or you know like that americans are it's only the right mainly it is but <clears throat> just how many times we're able to get this on camera showing them just not thinking like take five seconds bro step up be step outside of your box and think about it and then uh, they, they must be making money off of it somehow you know they must be grifting somehow he's got a badge on so he's part of the event somehow i don't know if that's just how do you get into the event or if he's somebody higher up on the event but let's keep going it could be anywhere what are some ways we can stop the socialist agenda oh goodness you know we can start with those journals can we throw those out Journals? Yes, kids were started to journal about 30 years ago, and this was the government's way to keep an eye on our children is through these journals. Someone writing in a diary. Wait, wait. What in the so, unholiest so, of fucks? So the government goes into their bedrooms Let's... and steals and reads their journals. Okay. Okay, so so that's the first idiocracy of this bull crap that she just said. Um, uh, Anne Frank wrote her diary when? 1939 to 1945. How many, how, how many years ago was that? Over 75. Okay, she just said in last the last week. 30... She said in the last 30 years, children have been diarying, you know, writing writing journals about their, their life. Wait, what, we honey? We literally um, have copies of journals from people like Anne Boleyn. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. We yeah. have journals from uh, pilgrims that went over on the Mayflower. Exactly. For Thirty so, years. Yeah, mate. Cool. What? What? One thing. So, what she'll get at in a second, and we will see, is she's saying that schools were teaching them that so that they could spy on children, and and that's what it says down at the bottom. Way to keep eyes on children. Brainless hit hit the, almost the nail on the head. Although they did have us bring our journals into school and we were to read them, but I did not see my teacher taking meticulous notes about what we were talking about exactly. I think it was yeah, more but... for a way to get kids to write more and talk about mm -hmm. their experience and then share it so that they could be part of society better. I don't think it was an FBI, CIA spy agreeing going on. But still, then, then you know, 
you, what you're writing, somebody will be uh, hearing、Reading. what you wrote. Exactly.、Yeah. So, you're not going to、so、be like, I, I, I got something else than like,、uh, like a diary、actual. that some. Yeah. 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 I'm not、and、sure there's... in the schools they did that, like、uh, promoted you guys to like write journals, but like that's good. It's meant to be good and healthy for you to write regular journals、yeah. about your day, not only to keep track of stuff, but it's good mentally to help you recount the day and go over things in a cold, <coughs> emotionless state. To yeah, it、process. was in English. Yeah, it was an English class or something like that. Where I think in like fourth and fifth grade or something like that, a couple years. I don't know if it was how long it was. I don't remember because、um, I was a bad student, even though I got decent grades. I didn't pay much attention, but I remember going through like journaling classes or them like explaining to us: take this thingy home and you write down what happened during the day, and you come back and you tell the whole class. And it was for the experience of. Being a public speaker, being a part of a society, I, I, you know, it was not to spy on children. Again, there was not the FBI. There was not the FBI in a freaking closet with、oh. holes drilled into it that, like,、I'm、they were. I'm sorry.、Watching. Have you ever had a conversation with a fucking young child? They tell、Just、you everything. Say, What did you do today? What did mummy do today? They will tell you、mm-hmm. everything right down to the bowel movement. <clears throat> Exactly. Exactly.、Yep. Exactly. Like getting a kid to shut up is、there. the magic trick. Not getting them <laughs> to open up. It, it, ex- exactly. Oh yes. I, oh yes. I, so this and 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 then what do they expect to happen? Do they expect to, once you became an adult, you were just gonna like carry on? Start, yeah. Exactly. Like like how many of us actually have a a journal that you really put? I mean, we. I'm sure we all have something that we write into. Wait, you mean you、nope. guys don't have a whole room dedicated to archiving every journal you've written, one book a year, ever since you were a little baby? I mean, I have the pubic hair of all the people I sleep with、um, in a. No, no. I'm sorry. Never. No, no. I didn't. Of say course that, you、no. do. <laughs> wait, 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 Slim. I want to make a necklace out of all of it.、You. Wait, wait! You you you, you pick that off the floor here for me? Well, see, because you, because but, you could not have gotten that from when I was visiting you. Well, the thing was all nice and smooth. Yes. Well, okay, okay. okay.、Uh, that, you know, that, you're a bit sore around the butt for a few days later, even、mm-hmm. though you were the top. He put he plucked your butt hair. Yeah. Um.、Oh, and oh, and、okay. I asked you if that smelled like chloroform. So there was a time where you、yeah, never mind. Never oh, mind. Oh. <laughs> Okay, so sorry. Let's let's keep going because obviously this lady is cuckoo, you know, tripping on something. Yeah, yeah. There we go.、Um, uh, and let's just li- listen to the idiocracy she still has to say about this. It's a way for the government to sort of you know, keep tabs on you. Yes. So they would ask questions like, "Do you have a stepmother or a stepfather, or do you have a microwave, or do you have two bedrooms?" And so they calculate these. Findings, and the more that they have that fit into the category, the more government funding that they get. Okay. Wait, what? So everything she just said, all that you have to do, if you were the government, the government, you just have to like look at sales receipts. You look at the tax returns. What is she talking about? You know when somebody is gets married and becomes a step parent. Some everybody. What, what is she? Even people hey, dating, the, the government can find this out. Why do we have to look in kids' journals to、I、find this out? I want to know is how does who your partner is shag your pet or your parent is shagging,、mm-hmm. and whether、uh, you own a microwave equate into a calculation to your home, like where to go and everything. Global mom, hey, hang on. I, I'm sorry to interrupt. I want to tune in on your question. In many ways, people like that are not just on the far right. The far left has some pretty insane people、oh, as well.、Yes. Politics yeah, that, in general have issues. Right. Not the far yeah, right and the far left. It's yeah, both that, sides, man. Yeah,、Pick、and that's what sides, I please. And, and that's what I said. And that's what I tried to say earlier. Yeah, I was getting. I'm with you. I, not, I support. I have I support seen、you. some、Go、crazy lefties, and、um, I am a bit lefty. Did you watch?、Lefty. Did you guys watch Martin's Hy- Martin Hyde's fuck up on YouTube?、Mm-mm. Nope. Okay, he's a, he was a congressional candidate out of Sarasota, Florida. 
dude just fucking totally blew his hive man blew his candidacy got pulled over for speeding texting and no registration oh, oh yeah cop yeah, tells him yeah. yeah cop tells him hey you're being recorded and he continues to go on a tirade anyways and just blew his campaign man he withdrew oh, yeah, all I his campaign of that. yeah yeah, no, yeah I, I know exactly what you're speaking about now yeah blew it. <laughs> and so um yeah uh, we will we go over every type of um walks of lifestyle um i'm none of us are really one side or the other i'm not it, at least i'm not either um um i i did grow up in uh california so i'm a little bit more left but i believe that people should have guns as long as they have the right training and the yep. constant training and that like i'm prior military like i, like, I yeah, military I, 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 my, go ahead i'm sorry I, I was taught how to use a gun at like 10 years old. Like don't point it at anybody, always keep it up in the point. All the, you know, how to how to make sure it's loaded or not. As soon as I'm handed a, a weapon, you check to see if it is um, ready, or ready so to d discharge, you know? Or, and so then or something that looks like a weapon. Exactly. Yeah. I know how to like make sure that like what it has, you know, and or if I don't know about the thing that is put in my hands, I have somebody who is going to tell me exactly yeah. how to use that properly. Yeah. So I think there just should be a couple more steps in people owning firearms and especially uh, we should have more training in how to not let kids get yes. them in their possession as oh, easily. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I here, if, oh, if you're allowed to have... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, over here, here if... you're allowed... Sorry. Go, Renus. Now, over here, if you, if you have a license to have a gun for, like, uh, a, a hunting license, um, you actually have to have a vault where you store your weapon. Yeah. 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 yeah if they come here. check up yeah. and you don't have your weapon in that vault, that the only reason is if you are getting up and walking out the door with it to go hunt. Yeah, yeah. well, okay. and, and ammo has to like... be stored in a separate Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah it's same here. So for it, us, it the checks... ammo has to be drilled into the ground. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Have yeah. a foundation. As, as... If you don't have a home with a foundation for the vault to be drilled into the ground with to make sure it's secure, you cannot yeah. get yeah. one at all. Yeah. Ammo has to be separately. Like you have to prove that you actually have land that you can go hunting on, and a hunting yeah. license. Like it's really strict to get a gun here, which in means Texas? that's why no one has <laughs> one really. Which well, is why we don't have fucking school shooting. Well, the the other problem that is that happens in the Americas is our gun culture is different than most every other culture. We are born and raised to think it is a privilege to shoot somebody with our gun if they do something wrong. Yep. Yep. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And we need, and it, that's not how it should be. It should be like other cultures where it is used as a tool to achieve a goal, which usually yeah. is hunting, not to destroy somebody. And so hunting that's the major. Sports. But what if you're yeah, protecting exactly. yourself? Say you got a family. That's somebody's sure. Breaking no, in your no, house, totally. Man. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, again, oh, yeah. again, it, get, yeah. it gets to that exactly. But yeah. that's yeah. not how you need to think of it first. Yeah, it is a 100%. tool to which. That's yes. why I said it, a, a tool to achieve a goal. Absolutely. If for some reason somebody is harming you and you cannot get yeah. them to stop, yes, you use Absolutely, as yeah. much force as you need to use. I don't like hurting people, but when yeah. I work security or I help with an event and there is a person who is causing harm to other people i have to do everything i can to get that to go away and to that to yeah. be dissolved i yeah so you know yeah that's how so that's yeah. a different story but our our brains in the americas is i have this first to do something mm. harm you know and 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 the culture is is bass backwards yeah um we need to out think here in texas more... they just they just passed basically you don't have to get a license to conceal mm -hmm, you don't have mm -hmm. to have a license to carry it's 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 a wild it's west texas insane. but you know what you know what doesn't happen out here is people don't walk in your fucking house and try and fuck with you that's a yeah. okay totally that's, that's totally true. that's very true but that is a very small percentage of yeah what yeah sh you know what i'm saying like i yeah. mean there are other ways to do that nowadays uh yeah. have a million cameras out in front of your fucking house yeah 
no no burglars are gonna fucking run in your house if they see like 20 cameras i mean yeah. you, half of them can be fake there i live out in the country sure guys. people and yeah. and it's yeah so so do i and i yeah. again like i live in a place where there's guns in the establishment yeah. i live in yeah. and in my nice. other place there are weapons um nice. but they're not thought of as <laughs> to, to use hurt somebody again. Yeah, yeah yeah they're thought of yeah. as a tool that you use for something yeah yeah um so let's see uh global mom is saying i would disagree with the assessment not all of uh not us, all of I us mean, are raised yeah are raised in the thinking no no you're, you're you're totally right not everyone is unfortunately there is a gun culture out there that yep. has has that um and I wish there were more people raised like you, Glober Mom, and yep. like there were raised like me to respect the instrument yep. uh, as a tool so that we can have fun. Because I love also, blowing stuff up. I love I love going to the shooting range, and I love taking like yep. uh, explosive bullets or bullets <laughs> like that do cool bullet. things. Yeah, yeah, hollow points and other things, and in. Yep. Uh, you know the other fun weapons i mean i've shot 50 cals i've done all i've shot lots of yeah. different i've blown Shut up, up grenades. you're making me jealous I, I, know, I was I'm a 50 sorry. gunner in the army man yeah i was a 50 nice. gunner it's a lot of fun See, yeah. so yeah so I, fun. I i i understand the the aspect of having fun with them but you have to respect them as a tool just like yep. a hatchet you can throw hatchets all day at a target but it's a tool used for something. Yeah. It is not yeah. just something to have fun with. And it is I'll... to be respected. Just like fire. You have to respect fire. Otherwise, you're going to get burnt. Burn your ass. It's yeah, like when yeah. you're a gun owner, I think in that sense is the responsibility of being a, a responsible gun owner is knowing to not – is knowing to win. Knowing to not – how do I say this? Is knowing to win – not – When not to use it. Yes, when not to use it. That is yeah. the responsibility. It's like when not to use well, it, even though you have the power to use it, is when not to use yeah. it. And and what I was going to circle back to before we get on to this um, silly lady um, was gu gun safety for children or getting, you know, letting people understand that, that are younger or teaching them how to properly use it. I was in the Boy yes. Scouts and we talked about this earlier with Widow Son, um, how to use um, weapons properly, a bow and arrow, hatchet, knives um saws. Uh, actually guns yeah. saws yeah exactly they're all tools. Uh, rope rope you know yeah i, I learned how to tie That's up my tool. first boy and never mind never mind we'll talk about that later um <laughs> jesus christ man you're like he's still locked in the closet actually yeah yeah he's uh, so yeah. you know no, but you learned um, how to tie up your first supervisor oh, what <laughs> exactly <Yeah>. exactly <laughs> my, my my scout counselor loved when i tied him up i mean um never mind um so <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's using your tools properly, and that's one of the things that we don't oh, have as much here in the properly. Americas that we should. Uh, we need more people to teach the next generation the proper way to use them, and not to use them when you're upset or mad or you know. Again, uh, it, it's it's difficult, but I think we kind of figured out how to say it properly. But let's let this um, lady keep going, and then we're gonna go ahead and end it. With Look at her game. face. Look at her Karen face. Like. That is the Karen face of That's the That's a Karen decade. face. Look at her. Yeah, look at that Karen she face. Is, she is. She's like, no, I am totally right. No matter oh. what you say, honey. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Here, let's keep. Let's keep going. So, stop journaling. Stop yeah. writing in your diary. I am a theorist, and I have a theory that the. Get she right the fuck out of here, man. A theoryist. <laughs> It's like theorist, not theorist. Theorist? So, I'm a theorist. Does, well, conspiracy I'm theorist. a theorist. Just theorist. A theorist. Does theorist? anybody want to give me a definition of what a theorist is? She's like, I'm real theorist. Someone, <laughs> Someone that on. makes up bullshit. A very, yeah. very Ex expert. Exactly. Very, very expert. To, there you go. If you don't know how to An actually... Expert. If you don't know how to use the human language while you're being interviewed, while you, you are claiming to give information, I, unfortunately, we have to throw your credibility out the door. You know, I mean, I, I don't want to be a dick, but like, you know, clotted theories. 
Well, <laughs> and like if somebody is making a satire interview like this and you're on it, you can throw their credibility out of the door anyway. I mean, the yes. fact that they don't get that's what he's doing. Very, yeah, very they're so, so fucking full of themselves. Imagine how many people this guy interviewed and they realized very quickly they were being taken the piss out of. Oh, and probably. these are the ones that didn't get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so, uh, let's keep, let's keep going because it gets even funner. The executive order was signed on January 11th. And I know funner isn't a word, uh, and that's when the military took control. The military took control in the 11th. I don't think funner is a word, but never mind. Not the 20th. I think the 11th. While Trump was still in Absolutely. office. So the military is controlling Trump or they're controlling Biden? The military is controlling Trump. Trump is controlling <laughs> the military. The whole Biden Eat thing a I have to I, I, can't, I can't tell who's Eat controlling Eat all the day. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay, did anybody? Dumbass. Look at her. She's like, I love did... the pauses you're catching. She's like, <laughs> okay, did anybody follow that? That the military is controlling Trump, but Trump's controlling the military. And then now that he's out of office, uh, thank you for being here, Rudy. Blah, 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 blah. So thank you for catching and that bot, everybody. She doesn't know who's and, controlling Biden. But then, she, yeah, but then she doesn't know who's controlling Biden, but somehow Trump is still controlling. And, and what's even funnier makes it even more hilarious about this clip is okay if trump was controlling the military why did trump let uh what's the putin take over ukraine because the reason that the left the right is saying that he took over ukraine is funny well but they said it was because that um biden is a wuss but if Trump is controlling the military and Trump is in charge still, then why did Putin do that if Biden's the... Never mind. Oh, God. Your face brain play, doesn't her face right now look like that meme? Yeah. Like the sketch drawing. They're like... Yeah. <laughs> it looks yeah. like she's holding in a fart. <laughs> I know. <laughs> she's like... It's like uh, the meme where like, you think you said something really smart, so it's like I'm... So bloody blah so is actually her. She, yeah. yeah, she she's uh, she's feeling really, really, really smart now. And yes. Global oh, yeah. Mom hit, if, Global if Mom hit the nail. Was. Yeah, Global Mom hit the nail on the head. Silly, the DNC is controlling Biden. So definitely. <laughs> no, I am. Our, our fucking politicians are all corrupt, guys. Biden. No, I, I know, I know. I don't give a shit about our politicians, man, because at the end of the day, they don't give a shit about me. No, they they're don't. all making. They're all after the money. So exactly. whatever the money trail is coming from, to wherever yep. they can make money, doing our fucking pushing tax, whatever. Our, our our pockets. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So screw screw all of that. Um, that's why we're doing all this. Is we're just making fun of the idiocracy of what we we're dealing our with. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah. Our politics. Unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. So here we're we go. Here we go. But I, I, in my heart, I feel that executive order was signed on January 11th. And, and think about how many women have come out and said that Obama was um, sexually molested them or da -da -da. nobody. No women are going, hey, none. he was mean to me. No, no women. Yeah, no, it's a little suspicious that not one Wait, woman. wait, yeah, so, so, wait. So suspicious that nobody. Wait, no. That. It's so suspicious <laughs> that, like, uh, Obama was the mm. only president in the White House that didn't sexually assault his staff. Like, oh, my God. Then he yeah. must Can you believe loser. that? That is suspicious as fuck. That's really suspicious that he was, didn't sexually assault anyone, guys. I'm going to have to go report him. Yeah, that is a red flag if I've ever seen a red flag. Sus. Right? He's sus <laughs> yeah, that's, that's sus. I'm reporting. I'm reporting. A <laughs> woman came out and said that Obama sexually assaulted me. No, there was no allegations of harassment or assaults for Obama at all. And that is, you know, that's funny. I never thought of it that way. Thank you. Yep. But, you know, but there's tons for Trump. You're a truth, you're a truth seeker and a truth uh, But there are tons for Trump. But, okay, let's keep speaker. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I get censored on platforms and things like that. I mean, I've got taken off Instagram. What happened on Instagram? Did you hear what she said? Dumb and it says, Well, listen, and it says it right here. I mean, I got taken off the Instagrams. The taken's off. She didn't. I talked yeah, about this. Oh. 
didn't like it. Um, I talked about some missing books in the Bible that were found under the Vatican. They didn't like that. It was one of those. If we want to stop the socialist agenda, we need to get rid of the Vatican, correct? Uh, uh, yeah, I can't believe how much went on there. I didn't know. I grew up as a Catholic. So big, a big pharma needs... I'm sure that's why you got taken off, Karen. I'm really sure. <laughs> By the way, you're a true red and blooded American, right? Your stupid, tacky little hat is a desecration of the American flag that you so freely trample about the world, waving like it's some fucking magic ticket to heaven. Yeah, yeah um, so, uh... Preach on, Vila. Does somebody want to take on how she said they took books out of the Bible and that... Hi, Kitty. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah, there were Bibles, uh, books taken out of the Bible. Yes, that, and then it probably happened from the Vatican City. Yeah, I don't remember no, 100 no. exactly who did the it. The Bible was already it was a collection of of uh, of books. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. See, it, it, was, it, it, it has not never been written as one book. No, nope. no, of course. Yeah, no. I yeah, learned yeah, that yeah. literature, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, the Bible's yeah. not one book. It's like numerous no, it's, books, man. Yeah, There's yeah, like yeah, yeah. There's like hundreds and hundreds yeah. of, um, like, but have sections, it, have it... books of the Bible that are in the Vatican archives that have not been added into the Bible as we know it, or even ones mm. in America that they know of. There are, like, uh, different amounts of books in the bible in different countries and depending on what version you read or things like that you, like you, you, yeah. you know what the fun thing is <laughs> they're all fun uh, fan fiction they're all fan it's, it's they're it's very cute fables um oh. so let's just let her speak a little bit more it's to go if we want to stop the socialist agenda. We need to stop them. Amazon needs to go if we want to stop socialist agenda. <laughs> Did Jeff Bezos just step down? What are some things we can get rid of in order to fight the socialist agenda? Get rid of Amazon. That did not happen at all. What? Right? Hey, man, Jeff, Jeff Bezos has a, a rich person issue. He's trying to get his multi-million, his multi-billion dollar yacht out of a fucking shipyard in Holland. They got to remove yeah. a historic bridge. Because his boat's too fucking big. He wants God them to tear it. the bridge down. Of course he does. What? Yeah, yeah no yeah, bullshit. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with that, man. And people are already oh, signed a petition. Really? As Jesus. his yacht goes through to egg the shit out of it. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I hope yeah. they are not taking down a historic they, bridge. That can't so here, in, here in the Netherlands? He so can far afford they to have done it. He yes. can afford yes. to Holland. have it airlifted. It's either either Holland or Netherlands, but it, he has he has a huge uh, Holland. Yacht. Holland is part of the Netherlands. Netherlands. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, man. <laughs> My history's real. But, but it it could it could be Germany because uh, close no, to here it's in there, Holland. there is there is is a big uh, thing that I have that a buddy in Holland. Jobs. He said it's my buddy's in Holland. He said it's there in Holland. Okay. 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 Yeah. He said it's some and, historical bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Holland and then British. um, everybody say hello to Irish Dublin girl. Hi, hi, Irish Dublin. Hey, girl. Irish. Hello. Okay. She says hi. So let's let's keep going with this lady Gunslinger. for just a second, and then we will get to um more stuff. Get rid of Facebook. Get rid of Facebook. Let's get rid of Netflix. Let's get rid of Hulu. Do you agree that what what? what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Why, but like, why, wait, no, wait. No, why, but like, why, a lot of the shows are. Is she left? actually going for full blown censorship? Any but, media but, source that doesn't play the movies that I that plays any movie that doesn't report. Wait, wait, the you know what? You know what she I should want. do? You know what she should do? She should go and live in Russia. Yeah. Mm. Or Putin. North Korea. Da. Yeah, so that's the hilarious thing about these people. Um, Global Mom is saying there are Bible has 66 books in it, but there are many, many more books out there. Um, the Dead Sea Scrolls has like a gazillion freaking books or like writing scriptures or pages. I don't know. No, I don't want to say pages. It's I think books or like collection collectives of stories in it. Um, what we will be. I would like to do something on the Dead Sea Scrolls soon, but I just don't know if I know enough information on them and I've collected enough information to like be able to present it properly, but we'll try. We'll try. 
So let's keep going on with this gentleman. We need to sort of get rid of Pfizer and Moderna and all these big pharma companies if we want to stop the socialist agenda. Absolutely. The people who are running the show here are highly, highly invested in these companies. Everything's always negative. They never focused on the positive. And I'm the type that, you know, if somebody does a good job. Okay, I thought he talked a little bit more about um, uh, why to get rid of those thingy bobbers, but he never really said. Um, and there should, there's nothing wrong with Netflix and stuff like that. I mean, there like, is well, in Russia. Besides that, it's addictive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a- and I mean, as fuck. They, they do control like kind of the media that you do see. But, I mean, it's just a streaming service. It's not like controlling media like yeah. a couple other organizations. There's and three or four within the to Americas. Have Netflix. And... Hey, I get free Hulu with my phone provider. I don't pay shit for Hulu. And if you go to my fans only and you pay me money, I'll flick your nuts for, for a, a certain amount. I mean... <laughs> Well, the thing is, is from what I understand, is Netflix has always been a company that's lost money. They're never really gaining money. Yeah, yeah, that's what it's I say. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're constantly it, losing money because they're always putting money into these like new little projects, and they're just expanding their um, uh, advertising uh, uh, too far. But then, and so, but yeah. then how how the how the fuck is it still around? It's it's just because they are barely keeping alive, from yeah. what I think. Yeah. I've, come yep. to understand they're just barely yeah, they keeping on okay yeah, let's have been... sorry man. Go, 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 no go ahead no and i was gonna say yeah netflix has been struggling for a lot of years from what i understand yeah Al- almost from the beginning i think yep. yeah i think almost yep. from the beginning um they just outbeat uh what's it called what was the store that had all the videos yeah, they, they just barely outbeat Blockbuster, and then they s- just been barely keeping on from what I've come to understand. And I come on a lot of things, so it, I think I've come to understand. <laughs> never mind, never I, mind. I, I know. So. <laughs> oh, oh, that, that, okay. that, it, that it do wonders for my skin, though. It, that, I'm, I'm sure it does. You yeah, just gotta it's got a lot of vitamins in, and deep, minerals in it. Yeah. You got to yeah. do some deep deep tissue massaging with it, you know, and it yeah. just oh, works wonders. Nice. Yes. Oh. Okay, let's, let's yeah. keep going. Uh, you recognize. Tell me about some of the positive things that the liberal media has overlooked. Name it. Okay, the vaccine. The vaccine. The vaccine rollout. He, being a businessman, he really greased the skids, you know, and got through all of these bureaucratic hurdles to get the vaccine what, on the market. Well, that's what made me vote for him in the first place. That's when you knew that was going to be a good present. Are you vaccinated? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so once again, we've heard this a gazillion times. The unvaccinated said that he rolled out Trump. Obviously, we're who's we're talking about because they're at a Trump rally or something close to that. I don't know if it is an actual Trump rally, but they said Trump rolled out the vaccine and got it fast paced so that, that we could good. all get it. Yes, and that was wonderful. But their <laughs> testicle, their testicle about it not being. Uh, okay to take themselves <laughs> even though trump is the one who told them to fucking take it like uh, the, the yeah first he wasn't telling him now he's telling him to take it right yeah 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 he's like, oh, yep. don't take it but now he's like oh no go ahead and take it because trump's actually trying to renew his bid for 24 man yeah and yeah, then trump he's talking about the booster all these fucking uh voters will be dead if he doesn't get them to vaccinate themselves <laughs> well that's yeah that's part of it that they did they needed to realize was that uh, that you're, if you kill off your base, then you don't have voters. And even if you gerrymander and you make it harder for people that you don't want to vote for you to vote, you, if you killed off everybody, then that's people still vote. That they're, they're still going to be the pe- those people. So you're going to lose no matter what. So let's not kill off our base. Is pretty much what they were trying to get at. And yeah, exactly, oh. Glover Mom. Uh, that's why yeah. they. Uh, their their um, thingy to nineteen twenty dollars a month pretty much. Um, I got the thingy mabobber a couple months ago where it was like yeah. we're gonna raise our prices for this blah blah blah. I'm like whatever. If you have Sprint and T-Mobile, you get Hulu free, guys. Just so you know. Right. Yeah, and, and there's yeah. a handful of like other things that you can do for free. I mean, if you go out and buy a, a Roku TV for like hundred and fifty bucks or something for a decent size one. I don't know in the Americas or in the rest of the world what it is 
uh, like to buy one of those. But in Colorado, you can buy a decent sized TV that has the thingies and you literally get like 24 things where you can just watch TV for free. Yeah. You get you get mm-hmm. commercials and you have to deal with some weird crazy glitches or weird things, but literally here you can just get TV for free. You can do that you can here. Get too. Small, mm. Yeah, you, you can get small Roku boxes that will plug okay, into yeah. the HDMI right. on a normal okay, TV. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or go in with friends and get an account, family account. You can get multiple screens that you can watch four at a time. Yes. And, and, reme- and remember, ladies and gentlemen, when you date somebody, don't delete their um, Hulu password or their Netflix password <laughs> and just keep using. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. My Talking ex and earlier. his family still have access to my Netflix account a year after I broke up with him. They still use it. Yeah, no, I, I have mind. exes that I'm still use there. mine. Yeah, no, I have exes that still use mine, but I don't care because whatever, I still pay for it. But my go name, ahead. My sister pays We're... for mine, so I don't care. We were talking uh, guns earlier. There's a school shooting in Ohio, outside oh, of wow. Ohio, out, outside of high school in Des Moines. Yep, it's an hour ago, multiple mul- multiple people shot outside of Des Moines High School. Oh my god! By um, do we know um, were they an adult or they were kids? Do we know any? Here. Okay, um, so we'll go over yeah. this just really quickly. One dead, but, two um, critical. Okay, uh, I, th- I think uh. I saw that. Okay. Both critical come from a passing vehicle, so it's a drive by. That's so sad. Um, where, One where was this at? Des Moines, Des Moines, Iowa. Yes, sir. Okay, see, it's just happening way, way too often for children. And when I, I grew up in the ghettos of San Diego and I saw guns constantly, I had guns pointed at me, I got mugged a couple times. I mean, like, it's just like we should not have kids having this much access to weapons, weapons of that caliber yeah you know i mean stabbing sure i mean that's you know you're not but i mean now they're carrying high power yeah well rifles. that's yeah well yeah that's the yeah. major problem is you can kill you can kill a bunch of pedestrians and people that aren't in whatever y'all are involved in way easier and that's the problem is yeah. if y'all have a, if a dispute kill each other sure whatever fuck it dude yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm for but you know if if you idiots are gonna kill each other fucking kill each other you know like but don't yeah. don't don't so affect anybody else shit. around you yeah. yeah and unfortunately families are being affected when two idiots do stab each other to death or something happens <laughs> but yep. and again and I'm not saying Um, I grew up in different types of ghettos, so I'm not talking about just gangsters. I mean, like, I grew up around a bunch of white boys in the trailer park that would stab the crap out of each other. I mean, like, like it just goes across the board. Just make it so that it's only y'all and nobody else. Just And that's personal when you stab somebody, too, though. Yeah, yeah, and that's that's a whole different story, for sure. When you feel it go into somebody and you feel it go through the guts... Not from personal experience or anything. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. No, I have no. <laughs> but you know, it you feel it, and it's a whole different story when it's personal. When you punch like somebody you feel in the, the face, light leap from them. Yeah, or when or well, or when you punch somebody in the nose and you feel their nose break, that's way personal. That's that's how it should be. It should be one on one, or it should be. And I've been jumped. I've been um, I, a couple years ago on 16th Street Mall. Um, I had six gangsters jump me, and they knocked me to the ground and kicked in my chest. And um, I have multiple scars on my face from it. Um, at least they just kept it to hands and stuff. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, do it with your fucking chest, and don't do it in a way that you can wimp out and be disassociated from the action yeah, you're doing. Yeah. yeah. A gun yeah. is a cowardice weapon because you don't have to be anywhere near that person. You don't have to feel that impact. Yeah. Yeah. If you're gonna do yeah. it, do it properly and smash them in, stab them, whatever. Because at least then yeah. you have to feel the actions of yeah. what you're doing, and that scares most people. And then they don't do it. Well, most of the time, I pull out my knife and I just go, "Hey, do you want to be degutted or do you want to walk away?" And they leave. So, like, yeah. just I don't even. It's have like you want to bleed like... slow today. 
yeah yeah exactly <laughs> so there you know there is different ways to do that and uh once again just just know how to use the new use the implement that you have in front of you and make sure that you're using it safely and try not to hurt other people but if you have to unfortunately like you know um but youtube we are not for um any of uh, what oh, yeah, i am not for and, violence i don't want no, anyone no, to no. hurt anyone like that i'm just saying yeah. if you're in a situation like that don't be a pussy yeah um uh, what i what i what i usually do with all of my um performers and um significant others is i train them in using a taser and using a small knife and i will usually give a, both of them to that person and after um actually doing a tasing act on stage i know exactly where to put the taser to make that person not be able to move anymore or to want to run away from you um, dude i wouldn't want to get hit by a taser <laughs> oh, yeah thanks. um i've been hit by almost every type of taser um because oh, we've tried to do it on stage and um we, we we were doing a show at a haunted house one winter and during october um and it was 24 degrees out and we were freezing almost to death and the security came up to us and they're like you want to know how to stay stay warm they pulled out their taser and we just started tasering each other for the next four <laughs> hours <laughs> because that was the only hey. way to keep oh warm <laughs> Good Lord, man. Hey guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna start making my dinner. It's getting on kind of late here. Yeah, um, definitely, brother. Yeah, oh, it's, cool. uh, I really I really enjoyed this, man. This was awesome, Cyborg. Thanks for having me, dude. Honey Pearl yeah. Fish, awesome man. I enjoyed you guys all today, dude. Take you guys are radical, doing? man. I'll see you guys um, soon nice, again, man. Nice meeting you. your next live. Yeah, you too, guys. Take care, guys. Yeah, we'll in contact, and we'll Take have care. you on again for sure. Okay. Appreciate you, brother. Be yep, good, guys. Definitely. Yeah. Have a good night, brother. Bye. Okay. So let's get to the end of this and let's go ahead and play a game and we'll get the fuck out of here. So. Don't even. <laughs> but, uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. So, hey, so tell me about your shirt. Uh, my shirt says just a regular mom trying not to raise liberals. Um, how, do you, how do you not raise liberals? First of all, you home. You what? No, you don't homeschool, homeschool them. them. Okay. Can I just say one thing right quick? I. I I'm just gonna say this bitch has fucking dyed hair and tattoos. Yeah. And she's gonna say, I'm trying not to raise a liberal. Wait, honey, what part of you not looking like a normal fucking housewife that is in the kitchen barefooted and you know what I'm saying? Like that's what their ideology is. She looks like a liberal. She does, exactly. She looks like she is for gay rights and that yes, she, she is does. for Exactly, honey. So oh, she's no, like, who trying. else homeschools their children? Liberals. Uh, yeah, I well, and that t that as well, you know. So everybody, say hello to Surf. Hi, Surf. Hi, Surf. What's up? So hey, surf. just stop, mom. And and it would be hilarious if somebody actually clipped me saying that out and tried to make me sound like I'm a. a bigot but um anyways let's keep going because her let, let's hear hard. what she says because it's hilarious Homeschool. yeah totally i'm homeschooling my three kids how do you make sure they don't grow up to be socialists pray pray every day yes pray every day yeah, that's one way to help you know fight against the indoctrination yes Absolutely. Of course, indoctrination. Yes, and I don't know why we have to pay for those taxes. <laughs> He's playing these people, and they're so he is, he, he is He is brilliant. <laughs> I, uh, um, yeah. This guy wow. deserves a fucking Oscar, yo. Yeah. So so he's Walter Masterson. Everybody go to his YouTube channel and go show him some love and uh, check out his videos. Um, I think we're getting about around that time. Let's go ahead and just play a game. Uh, we'll get into some other silly stuff next time. I have a handful more of stuff, but yeah, why not? Just get out of here. What? Let's just go ahead and play a quip of the something of the lash. Yeah, let's 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 lash me. Uh, never mind. 
Yes. Because <laughs> uh, we're trying to like oh not God, put as much know. pressure on what the dub because they are not coming up with as many prompts as fast as we're playing these freaking games. I'm <laughs> jeez. Yeah. Oh, Brant, uh, I got a message from Brand a while ago. He said he absolutely, he said he loved playing that. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine everybody trying to do that on TGR? Uh, oh, they'd only, they'd have to narrow that down to only like six people. <laughs> yeah, I bought the top of six player. Yeah. So Can you imagine that? I want to play. Yeah. Okay, let me go ahead and give me a second to get in and then we'll go from there. Do 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 do. I have to figure out the right order to do this. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the private chat first, and then I we will go ahead and put it out for all of y'all. Gosh darn it. It keeps wanting the full size on me. Okay. All right, there we go. It is in the private chat. Hopefully I can get my punk ass in before we get uh, more people in. Okay. Why is it not? That's right, that's right. Sure. All Ow. right. Wait. Down and then make oh. sure that I have the volume. I'll be... This is this one is way you one... don't have to pick your character. Oh. It seemed that way, yes. Okay. Huh? What? Is it me or is that getting louder? Oh, no, it's not. Oh. And Pearl is having too much fun with it. <laughs> Always. Always. Hey, a good tune is a good tune. Hey, it's catchy. Okay. Too loud. Too loud. <laughs> <laughs> God, I don't have air earphone phones in right now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. That, yeah, this is good. This is good. This is good. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was muted. I'm dumb. Sorry. There we go. <laughs> I was saying about You don't how... have to state the obvious. Yeah, I, I was just saying how I'm, uh, hopefully you didn't hear me in the background, but I muted, so, so of course you did. Oh, God, I'm afraid to know then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's put that here, and 
we're gonna go ahead and start in. Oh, who 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 came in first? Me. Pearl. Okay, okay. So uh, we're gonna give it like another thirty seconds or so, and if we don't have enough people in, then um, we will start. Oh shit! I need to show it, huh? God damn it! Yeah. There we go. Sorry, sorry. There we go. Now I'm sharing it. I forgot what we were doing for a second. I'm Vila's um, person. Yeah. Yes. Well, okay. Well, before Vila <laughs> used that a lot. So the room code is A J L N. So A J L N. Agilin. Agilin. Relinquish co- uh, coffin rights to me. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we have one more is to fill. Lovely. Yeah, and I just switched to the green dildo. <laughs> nice. Yeah, sorry. I just it, it just looks like a dildo to me. I know it's it it's, probably, it's, it like it's got little rabbit ears on the side <clears throat> as well. It's fucking brilliant. It, yeah, I, I I'm sure they they meant it as like a cactus, but it looks like a vibrator with a clit. Yeah. Tickler. Yeah, that's what it's with little rabbit ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so funny. I know we all were thinking it, but I had Death to say it on my stream. We have the dirtiest minds, don't we? Yes. Yes, we no. do. Okay. We press the button. Yes, go ahead and press the button. We've got and... the sexiest minds. Ladies and gentlemen, Hi. one more time. If you go to jackbox.tv and you put in the code, then you will be able to judge our answers. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. So that we can actually see. So the code is AJLN. Join us in the audience. Okay, let's play. Remember, anyone who wants to join the audience can do so at any time by logging in with the room code. Exactly. I just said the obvious. This is round one. Two prompts will appear on your device, which you can answer in any clever or not clever way you want. Everyone will choose between your answer and someone else's, and decide who wins. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go! Here we blow. Okay, nice. Okay, here we go. Uh, 45 seconds. My cat was like, what was that? I swear there's no more kitty cats here, I promise. <laughs> cool, let's see what's what. The first what, what? cat was already was hissing? Went on the subway no. to get up your seat to blink. Okay, select your favorite quip. When on the subway, it's polite to give up your seat to the naked homeless lady screaming about farts or a Karen before you beat the hell out of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, cheese and yes. rice, people. We're already Those going were good. there. Oh, sorry. I didn't pick in time because I had too many screen. I'll get it next time. Good. Both of you, that was good. Widows and yeah. great <laughs> uh, answers. Next up, the next big reality show, America's Got Blank. Uh, uh-oh. America's Got Fuck All or okay. America's Got Harassed. <laughs> okay. Fuck <That's> you! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoever the Your fuck might be. Is, how do you seduce a bear? How do you seduce a bear? 
code on your devices. Shake my ass at it or spread honey on your balls. <laughs> Did you need a sandwich? It's a bear. Hey, bear fucker. Thank you. Good one, Skittles. Really? Yeah, for, for, yeah, okay. For for, for me, it's just, just shaking ass. That's... Shake that ass. <laughs> just shake that that's, ass, that's... bitch, and let me see what you got. Just shake that ass. Shake bitch, that ass. Let me see what you got. <laughs> okay. Something an overexcited fan would yell at a a tense and... dog show. I love the doggy style. Or, oh, yeah, that boxer's got a tight ass. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. Uh, we, I need to put up the timer Both very so good. it's not so fast. Next one. What a crappy doctor would say every time a patient gets naked. Jeez, okay. God almighty, man, what the fuck? Or your skin is gray. Yes, we're still alive. Yeah, it's just two and a half. Oh, yes, I love really? that. Oh, but we usually do three really? to four hours. I mean, every once in a while we do a shorter, yeah, but... Is. Yeah. But yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> Breast clits or pink jabbies? I'm all for calling them breast clits. Yeah. And yes, uh, we're usually always live. Yeah. Good one, Mama. That was good. Uh, yeah, I definitely. deserve to lose to you. Yes. Yeah. That 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 that's not a shame to lose to that. No, no, that's a good one. Oh, geez. oh fuck! Can't squirt orgasm or people not giving her money. <laughs> when they will break out that joint. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. We all have to go for. Well, good, good night, nice, nice both of you. Split. Yeah. It was split down right Maybe between. The name of Starbucks barista oh. would write on the cup for Mahandas Gandhi. Oh, shit. Ready, set, vote. Oh, uh, <laughs> weird dude or Honda Gotti. <laughs> shit. Honda Bugatti. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Starving Indian. <laughs> that was that was tough. That's it. Let's see the scores for round no, one. Let's not see the scores. Yeah, Drop here we down. go. That's what I thought. <laughs> well done. Tays into ass. Good one. Doubling all the point values. Thirty seconds, everyone. For some reason, I had a moment like, "Wait, why am I getting this?" Get this question. Almost out of time. Use the sneaky quick button if you have to. Okay, here we go. Nine, eight, seven, sixty-nine, four, three, two, one. Come on, Vila. Oh, I'm not in. Oh. Oh, the mama. Oh, okay. Not okay, the there mama. We go. There we go. Not the mama. 
Starting us off, what's the real reason the Phantom of the Opera is so moody? <laughs> Slim or has not had sex in centuries. <laughs> So it'd be one, one is always getting laid or never having sex. So poor, poor Phantom. Well, what would make you more moody? <laughs> always sex or never sex? Yeah, I think I know. It's definitely the not. Ask my girlfriend. She's always complaining. <laughs> I don't give it to her enough. Moving on. Yeah, that's probably not the only thing. <laughs> Come back and say that again, cunt. Or the traffic looks like the copter is spinning. I like that one because you actually made me say cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Next in line, a terrible name for a morning talk show. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck. Vaughn's Creep Show or Coffee Sharts and Charts. Or Chats, sorry. <laughs> Coffee Sharts and Chats. What, 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 what does Vaughn call his show? Morning, yeah. morning, morning coffee. coffee, but it's I call definitely. it morning toilet water coffee. It's definitely yeah. creepy. Right. Very creepy. Although, what does one call the show? Nothing anymore. It's gone. Is it? He pirated okay, it behind a password so no one can see it. Okay. Sit in the ocean like a refracted <laughs> oil rig or fuck all the ducks. Oh, who's going to win this? Thank you. Good one, Pearl. Uh, not enough <laughs> love for that was, that was good. <laughs> Uh, sex, sex wins from floor. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Not always. The worst crime, the worst crime in Middle Earth: fucking a hobbit without lube in the ass, or being in Middle Earth. Oh jeez. No, missing second breakfast. <laughs> yes, definitely missing. Eleven without scenes. your pipe. I could do with second breakfast. Next the worst part about sharing a sleeping bag. <laughs> oh god. With everything. The, okay, the worst part about sharing a sleeping bag with pearlfish is the horny the horns in your I'm guessing butt or something and then, or getting <laughs> stuck with all the metal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just as well, that wasn't one for brainless. Oh. But it's ribbed, it's ribbed for her pleasure. Yay! Quit, quit, I will report on that fact <laughs> later. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, give us a full first assessment. Okay. okay, here we go. A rejected section of the King's James Bible. The part where Jesus screws Shani's life. Or got so fucked up at Slim's dungeon orgy. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. I, I, I would say with... where, where he talked to Pip. <laughs> well, the, the problem is, is they both fit together because she did they get do. screwed in my dungeon orgy. Just <laughs> nobody participated except for Rev and Rav. That's or, true. No, sorry, sorry. It was G-Man and Rev. Yes, thank you. Ew. Yeah. Okay. All my ex wives bodies floating in the ice or all the bodies from the last cruise <laughs> sorry good good one mango you deserve it yeah yeah that was a good one both good though but mango mm -hmm. was slightly better Yes. That's all for round two. <sighs> What's that all for okay, round here two? Here we go. Really? <laughs> Wait, what? Drop. Okay, so here we go with the third. The final round. There's just one prompt, and you're all getting it. Oh, we're all getting it? We're all getting it. Oh, okay. let's bend. Oh, let's come on. So Everybody it's an acronym. Over. 
No. Oh, no, it's not. It's a comic book. Complete the comic. You must pass my test. What is the secret of happiness? Oh, son of a monkey. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be great. 20 seconds, everyone. 19. 15. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 6. 5. 4. Woo, just six, in time, nine. motherfucker. Moment of truth. Here we go. Okay, in round three, you get to award three medals. Uh, okay. Silver and bronze. Have at it. Being in an orgy in Slim's dungeon. <laughs> my cock lubed up in your ass. Keeping, Keep on pushing with them dangs. For real, though. Go. Yeah, no, I, I, yeah, thank you. A penis in the asshole. Uh, getting screwed by widow. Alcohol, drugs, Slim's dungeon, Pip's black hole, playing quiplash with all my nice friends, getting fucked, smashed every day. Okay, I gotta pick qu quick. Okay, okay, okay. I think. Okay, okay, okay. I. I. I know it's so tough. It's so stiff. It's so hard. It's so. Hard. <laughs> Those Ooh, mama! We're nice. Thank you. Mama and Pearl. We're, uh -oh. we're close. We're close. Yeah. Ooh! It's gonna be. Oh, mango. Good mango. job, is mango. That, is there gonna be a tie? Is mango ca getting me? Because I'd like to tie you all up. I mean, um, what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mango. Uh, the desperate motherfucker. Okay, nice, nice. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. He actually won whoop, whoop. something. Yeah, yeah, finally. Fuck you. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe I, I, may, I haven't had enough to drink. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not yet. But um, he, he, he looks very um, feminine from behind. Never mind. I mean, um, <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> so yeah, you, uh, you, thank you, you all very you much. about that. Yes, but I'm, shh. let's see. That's the right thingy, my bobber, and I can go like Ooh, that. You already fucked up. Oh, I pressed the wrong button again, which happens often. Uh, Did Vila uh, drop v out? Yeah, Vila says that she's in pain at the moment, so she had to drop oh, out. Oh goodness! But to say, yeah. but to say bye bye and night night and thank you to everyone for her. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. okay. Well, if she still sees this. Night, night, and I hope you feel better soon. Yep. Definitely. And feel better. If you need me, let and me otherwise, know. if yes. she's not seeing this, Pearl will probably See relay that to her. Yes. So, um, we're sorry <laughs> yeah, to hear I'll, that. Yeah, I'll message her now. That, Stop that. Yeah, we all know how that goes, so um, we're sorry to hear that. Stop um, that. We're going to get the fuck out of here anyways, uh, because uh, it's getting on 2.45. Um, tomorrow, the Cooking Mix Sweet Tits will be talking about over-the-counter contraceptives and all the different options you have without having to go to somebody um she's gonna be talking about the female ejaculation no sorry no we did that uh uh um uh, weird uses for condoms other than condoms and then um something Water else button. i don't yeah well stuff like that i don't remember i'm um, just kidding um what the third thing is um yeah, off the top of my be. head yeah um, alcohol does that Yes, exactly. I, I drink a little much. Stop. And anyways, uh, and then Wednesday will be uh, Hick McDickerson, uh, my uh, third uncle removed from my dog's cousin's sister's <laughs> side or something like that. Um, <laughs> yeah. You really need to learn to narrow that down because, yeah, man, yeah, that yeah, fucking yeah. family tree forks a lot. Yeah, yeah, it, and, do, it and, does and a if, little bit. if you have it that big, write it down, study it. So, you, so it's 
Keep well, the problem is, is the tree runs straight up, so there's not very much <laughs> dividing. It's just, just there. I don't. I don't remember if there's a dog or the cat that's involved uh, in it's, that it's, breeding. It's, it's not. It's not Pussy. straight up. It goes out. Pussy. It comes back. Comes Quit. out. Comes back. It, it, you know, curls. brothers and sisters come back together again. Of, it curls in a circle. Just, it's just a yeah. big <laughs> circle, a big circle tree, jerk. A big circle <laughs> jerk. Hey, don't talk about Thanksgiving in front of me, right? In, 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 in. <laughs> oh, when you okay. get to bed, get it with your family? Yes, exactly. Okay, so anyways, um, uh, I believe, to the best of my knowledge, which is not very big, um, I put in all the stream curves links um, down in the description. So um, anybody who enjoyed any of the content creators that you saw here today, other than um, who did we have on earlier? Uh, the newest person. Full frontal disclosure. Yes, full yeah. frontal disclosure. Who put their link in the side chat at uh, multiple points? Um, I'll see if I can find that. it again. Yeah. Sweet. Um, so post that one more time um, so that uh, we can get him more subs, and we will be definitely having him on a lot more. Um, and thank you, Glover Mom. Was fun as always. Yes. Hopefully, next time you can jump on board with us. Um, if not, no worries. I think you usually jump on with us at um <clears throat> during Cookie Stream. So we should see Glover Mom during Cookie Stream tomorrow. So everybody go there and uh, give him some love. Um, and we should have him on. So uh, if anybody has anything to say, uh, go ahead and say it before I press end broadcast. Uh, thanks everyone for being here. Yep. See you next yeah. time. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it was thanks, a lot of fun tonight. For, for uh, good times. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we will see you all in the next uh, broadcast or around in uh, different channels. Make sure you go check out everybody's uh, channels. And um, we pretty much stream a couple hours a day, pretty much um, all the stream pervs. So if you need some entertainment or you want something to do, just check out our channels and follow us and hit the bell notification, subscribe, like, share and comment and the more that you do that the more that we show up in your all's news feed and the more that we get put in the algorithms of the internal webs of the socials of the thingies and the youtube so thank you all very much we'll all see you very soon and go check out mama's uh uh thingies for tomorrow's is 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 and then um, Manga will be doing her stream at 9 EST in the morning about TLC, and that's not tender loving care. That is about the um, crazy witches that um, believe that they should control women's bodies. And so um, I don't remember the top of my head what that uh, <clears throat> channel is called, but let's all meet there tomorrow and talk about how horrible these people are trying to control women's bodies. So thank you all very much, and we'll see you on the next uh, stream. Bye. Bye. Have a good night. Bye, 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 bye. motherfuckers. <laughs>